ready for some D and D? Oh, yeah, are you? We've been ready, boy. <laughs> what yeah. Sorry. It's been a while. I don't even remember. Uh, how I, uh, how was the I woke up right at start time, so that's my bad. Won't happen again. I promise. No, I, I've been. I understand completely. Us. We both had a bad night last night. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to you? Vigor's a loser. You know, you know the person that one fourteen to you? Yeah. Yeah, they they got me too. I was their first victim. Dude, they play Leroy. Their, their win doesn't matter. Doesn't exactly. Matter. That's what I was saying. And and all everyone in your fucking Discord is no Johns. No, you're just making excuses. And then I linked the tier list from eight months ago to try to prove what I was saying is correct. And it's outdated. He got I, nerve. I, I I didn't care, to be honest. I know you didn't care. That's the bad part, because you took it like a man and I took it <laughs> like a child. I, I was upset. I got my match. I got the read. I smashed that champion into the ground. Took that soul. Ain't bothering me. Once. Once is all it takes. <laughs> Fucking. Once you weren't in that call. Takes. I was being berated the entire time. <laughs> I, I had I had debuffs. I just, <laughs> I had debuffs. I just want to play D and D. All right, then sounds good. Go ahead, connect to the server, everybody. You guys are great. Uh, we should be on. Ocean Travel Night, and we're going yeah. to pick up with you guys arriving at Fireport. Wow. Which is where? In I Ord. Okay. The southernmost tip of Ord. Nice. Last I time forgot. I was here, I made it a literal Fireport. <laughs> that is... God. Last time I was here, an elf got mad and blew up everything. It's true. To what face? That was great, dude. All right. Yeah, last thing that happened, we whooped that thing's ass, right? That is yeah. correct. Last last thing that happened is that whilst you were traveling uh, towards Fireport, you did a little thing we like to call angering spirits, um, mispronouncing a god's name, and fighting a ghost. Thankfully, <laughs> you proved stronger than the ghost. Let's go. And now, And now, we will pick up with you arriving at Fireport. Does for bonus points, can anyone tell me why you're going to Fireport? To kill the Holy, uh, the White Council. Okay. Oh, yes. I didn't remember. I wasn't sure. It's okay. Just, just, just wrote it for you. Clap. They're calling me a teacher's pet. This is cringe. Teacher's pet. <laughs> you like the kid sitting in the front of the class. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a teacher's pet to pay the fuck attention. God. <laughs> They're the kind of kids in school's like, oh, look at this nerd. He's trying. <laughs> Cringe. Cringe. He's learning. <laughs> Get the hell. Get the hell out of here. All right. Let's pick it up. Let's see, is everybody in? Looks like. Yeah. Everybody is in. Everybody like that. Boop, boop. Right, let me I'm gather here. the party and then we'll start venturing forth. Oh. Shit. <laughs> So, so I, I do need a little bit of a recap. We're, I, we're going to kill the White Council, right? Yeah. Okay, so the objective is, is that Lock and High, the yeah. god of madness, mm -hmm. has instructed you and empowered you to do so that the White Council has become stagnant and inefficient and therefore must be cleared of its corruption. Okay. The White Council, in this case, being uh, the ruling body of Ord. That's a tall order. Because yeah. these are the high priests, the grand marshal paladins. These are people you can't handle right now. But you're going to have to find a way to deal with them. And that's why you're going to Fireport. Because the, the White Council is in Crestfall, which is the capital of Ord. And this is the first city that you'll hit in Fireport. You're being sent to meet with a contact of Olak and High in order to set a forward base and to start planning your next moves. Okay. That's basically what's going on. That's your uh, purpose. All right. I'm ready. Big claps. Big claps. All righty. Let's pick right back up where we left off. All right. Night turns to day. And as the dawn rises, so too does the ship pull into port. Let me 
me actually find where I put this damn ship. Oh, here it is. Very big map. Is there music? Yep, I'm gonna link all that in a second. I'm a little behind, sorry about that. No, you're okay. I woke up right at start time. I just clicked your sailing ship ambience from before. Yeah, that's good stuff. Okay. You're right, you should be loading a new map. Yo, Devin, how's that DL speed? Actually, not bad. Not bad. Let's go. What's everyone at? 52. I'm at 101. How are five. you at 101? What the 54. fuck? Man? You guys are mad. I'm at a healthy 47. I'm at 90. I'm at 90. What can I'm I say? I don't take L's. You just take D's. <laughs> God, I love D's. <laughs> Wait, I um, when I was updating my game under Twitch to Dungeons and Dragons, it recommended yeah. an extension. Is it good? Uh, that's the extent that, that extension is for D and D Beyond, which we don't use. Okay, so it doesn't matter for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah it doesn't matter. God dang, yeah, that's... I'm at 77. It's gonna take me a while. There Our people go, tell the same story. There you go. Ooh. Okay, while you guys are loading, I'll make some adjustments over here. Everybody have a good week. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Had a, had a solid couple weeks. Moon's going to get a yeah. mute today, which is going to be cool. Oh, no. Unless yeah. he just says no to all of them. No, not Is that the competition? Yep. Yeah. Uh, to to yeah. choose Moon and Mute? Oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Not that's only... Like, that's like late, late tonight. Not only is he getting a Mute, he's paying the organizer a grand, and then he's, which is fine, and then he's paying the, he's the not grand paying the prize he's for not winning. Paying the he's not yeah. paying the I'm not allowed to pay the Mutes because they can't handle money, apparently. Well, it, it, <laughs> it, caused, it caused some drama, so we Wait, decided we can't be handle better. money? <laughs> It, it caused a lot of internal arguments, so I figured it would be better to just, like, donate it to a charity of their... Internal argue. I, I mean, I can donate what... it to a charity. That's fun. I think that would be fun, like, donating to, like, a charity of their choice or something instead of just giving it to them so that people aren't arguing. Okay. What is the criteria for a Moon Moon Mute? I don't know. Big, Massive fat cow tits. Oh, yeah. I did Massive <laughs> fucking milkies. I know one of them has big milkers. That's you every. Don't take no that's every year. He's just gonna select all of them. That's, that's not, not a spoiler. That's true. <laughs> We're asking how they argue, guys. They don't spend all their time in VR chat. There is a thing <laughs> called Discord where people can type to each other. They're also real people. But they also <laughs> live in real life. Sorry, the prospect of someone asking how they were arguing is pretty funny to me. Holy shit! Clever. Yeah, I, I told you straight up when you said you were going to give a $1,000. And so you're telling me when it comes down to just two mutes left and you have to pick one, one of them gets $1,000 and the other gets nothing. And you're going to make one of them feel like complete shit. Exactly. Dude, exactly. I've run I've run so many tournaments in my Discord where there's only a first place prize that I really, it's, I'm desensitized to it at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I ran an art contest that felt pretty fucking fair and there were still people complaining. I, I, I threw, uh, at, right after Smash Ultimate came out, I gave $10,000 to a guy for getting first place. No one, Let's no, go! No oh, money to please. anyone else. Yeah, that is brutal. So Second this is nothing to me. First I will crush their dreams! <laughs> oh, you so brutal. You gave 10000 for a Smash Ultimate tournament? Dude, he fucking owned, though. <laughs> Dude, That's more owned. than, like, real tournaments get. <laughs> I forgot what, I forgot what character... <laughs> I forgot what character okay. he played. I think he was playing Rob or some shit. Did you stream was... this? Yeah, this is a long time ago. I think all the biggest Smash tournaments lately have been streamers. Like yeah, Ludwig, yeah. Moist Critical, yeah. Yeah, I did that I did that shit literally like a year before they did. <laughs> <laughs> Trends. Man, man, I uh I actually got joined your Discord for the first time on that DBZ F tournament. I remember. Yeah, and then I joined and I took rounds off the favorites to win, and they were like, what the fuck is happening? Dude, <laughs> I think historically against Arcanum and fighting games, I'm literally like 2 in 100 right now. <laughs> I think I won one DBFC round. And I, I, 
man, I don't know. One or two. Doesn't matter. Maybe just one. It's good stuff, know. man. I used to be good at fighting games. I don't know what happened. You are. You just got to put time into it. He's I'm just Street better. Fighter 4. That was my favorite fighting game. Which one? So good. Street Fighter 4. Street Fighter 4. I love watching Street Fighter 4. I never played it, though. I, I was a Zangief player. No one here is worse at fighting games than me. <laughs> it's bad. Rob, did you watch As a... Uh -oh. just... Do you watch any tournaments? Yeah, I did. I've watched a lot of tournaments, and I don't know if you know the Peaceful J Lobby, but I used to play in there a lot. That was like the big street. <gasps> no. Uh, my favorite SF4 player was Snake Eyes. Is I love player. Snake Eyes. Well, yeah. Oh wait, wait, wait. Now, have you guys heard what? of Juan Bo Warriors? <laughs> that game is actually actually. Yeah, I dethroned you in that game. <laughs> yeah, I, I beat your ass bigger. I dethroned you. No, I dethroned you. I'm I most... literally dethroned I you. I literally beat you last time in a right, fucking let me get game. Clip. Let me get a clip. You beat like the clip, but like you dethroned me once and I got it back. I am the current reigning champion. That game actually looks really fun. It is. The fighting game that's a, players. That's a fighting game. That counts. So. Fighting game players I like the most were Snake Eyes, Punko, and Chris G. Uh, I was a big Chris G fan, Chris... especially because he was like, uh, his Marvel team was really cringe to me, TBH. What, when well, I played, everyone Wayne hated Roy it because it was cringe. Shit. But I'm all about zoning characters, and he literally played zoning characters. So, yeah, that's all he played. It was yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that's why I enjoyed it. He cheated. It was almost cheating. It's not cheating. It's not cheating. No, no people I, I tried to emulate him, and still can be as good as him. So, yeah, that's true, actually. Um, <laughs> Chat, Craig. I'm a champion. No, I am. Yap, 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 yap. <laughs> I like Pierre Balrog probably the most. I like PR Balrog. Does anyone uh, have the clip? With uh, the punt, the what's it called? Warriors. Man, I want to do a fight night every once in a while. Fight night. I don't want. Yeah, I gotta organize that. I want to do a fight night. All I'm, only, fight. I'm only good at Marvel vs. Capcom two and Street Fighter four. Those <laughs> are my two fighting. You didn't only... play three. I did play three, but I wasn't like really good at it. I was like. Whatever, I don't man, dude, I I play every speech. fighting game. I love it so much, dude. I oh want to try God. Guilty Gear. Yeah, play, play Guilty Gear with me, Moon. I might. Guilty Gear so sick. But like, I've been getting distracted because we've been playing Hots <gasps> and <night. laughs> and like WoW and stuff. So like, I, that was like on my list. Wait, I just remembered something crazy. Holy that. shit! Whoa! Oh my God! Wait, I can't. Ah, uh, I'm muting. What? <laughs> <laughs> What did you remember? Yeah. You remember that one time I beat Vigor's ass in VR boxing? I do remember that. We were all there. Was it the... <laughs> oh. Yeah, I just yeah. remembered Last it. Friday. Meow. 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 All right. Just uh, here this is all I wanted to show. Uh, Moon, can you watch this on your stream, please? No, don't. It's old and outdated. I beat his ass afterwards. <laughs> don't watch it. Do not watch it. This is the last watch it. Moon, ready, do I'm not watch it. Ready for D and D. Oh my god! Wait, what is that doing there? That's not. What Five I months ago. Yeah, outdated. <laughs> That's the last time we played. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I, just watched. I watched you guys play earlier than that. Um, more recently than that. Oh, this is the right one. Okay. I got a new VR chat avatar for tonight. Wait, another new one? Yeah. Me it's not, it's upgraded. Nice. Oh. Uh, the one that crawls on the floor? Uh, uh, ho hopefully. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, so who's still loading? I am, of course. Mm, anyone else? No. I'm loaded. I'm, yeah. I'm good. I was, the, I was probably first. I'm not going to flex or anything. But... I am 150 out of 190. Oh, <laughs> We're getting there. Yeah. Oh. Arcadum, you did something before. To fix it, I don't know what it was. Oh no! I think you changed like a different map to let you in. Or if, if it makes you feel better, Devin, I just got in. It does. Thank you. You just gotta load. Just gotta load the <laughs> asset. My confidence this is, is a, real low because of these loading times. Big, <laughs> this is a big map, so it's big. Lots of cities and stuff like that. Don't worry about it. We'll get in there. The It'll be worth once it. Once you load it once, you'll be fine. Yeah. Although, I might start sending you the maps ahead of time to load on yeah. your personal map tools so you can pre-cache them. I have to yeah, remember to do cool. that when I, I don't think... wake up at start time. 
it's safe to say that I have a bad connection to you uh, or something. Um, we, I went through and like checked all the firewall shit, so it's, it's just like a bad connection or something. This is all gravy. Did we have a short rest slash long rest? Yeah. On, okay. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was it long or short? It's it's long. Okay. But spells. Technically speaking, you uh, it was during the long rest that the ghost attacked you, and that's like, wow, that sucks. Stop. I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> So we, were doing was the, the we were doing the, the bitch work though up top. Yeah, so how would yeah. we rest? Well, the rest isn't always sleeping. Oh, okay. Rest is just downtime. But it does include sleeping, so. <laughs> Let's see here. And then catching up. I'm a little behind right now. How was the uh, How was the wedding? It's awesome, dude. I got a new suit. Yeah, I saw you looked fit as hell. You looked awesome. Yeah, dude. I was, I felt really good about myself. I cleaned up really well. Yeah. Oh Very yeah. Nice. That was a good picture, man. You looked like a boss, like a, yeah. a boss of a, a mafia or something. And that's what people kept saying. Yeah. It was, it was mafia the suit. Boss. It was the suit, man. It's like a gray suit. Yeah, that suit was oh, from Kohl's. Yeah. It wasn't even that expensive. Kohl's is great. I actually I buy a shit ton of stuff at Kohl's. I told my stream this, and you've you've talked about your family and stuff, and how they were like, uh, like strict and religious and stuff. And yeah. I didn't believe, I didn't believe it until I saw in that picture in the background Fox News on the TV. <laughs> yeah, like, let's go, dude. <laughs> I was yeah. like, it's true. Arcade, I'm just like, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> no, no, no. It's it's whatever. It's. That's my grandma. And what am I gonna do? Yell at my grandma for that? Whatever. Dude. Like, <laughs> every time I hear something about this, it's always it's my grandma. <laughs> 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 I swear. I mean, my my grandparents are fortunately pretty nice and not weird. But I'm I mean, Canadian. I know, I, I know so that, I... that's like the exception to the rule. So. I'm Canadian, so I don't really ever hear anything bad about my grandparents. Why not? Why is that Canadian thing? Because we're chill as fuck, homie. Um... Sure is a lot of chilling and of being a fuck. Hmm. So when, so when chat said, what a scumbag thing to say, I didn't mean that as a scumbag thing. I mean, I, it was more that I was, I got lucky with my grandparents. Is you're flexing. I, I, yeah, I wasn't you're, trying you're to flex. You're literally so you're, so you're, so you're a scumbag. <laughs> Stop I'm showing off your parents, Batman I'm, face. I, I barely <laughs> saw my grandparents growing up, honestly, because they were all the way across America. <laughs> That's right, Eddie. America. It like Eddie wanted to, though. <laughs> now, you're, now you're flexing your cat. Yeah, come on, true. man. Eddie is a cool ass cat, dude. Yeah. He just wants to be with you. It's like I'm gonna, I'm gonna give cat. that, I'm give that cat a big pet when I come down yeah. there. <laughs> He's got a little bit of ragdoll in him. That's why he's so nice. Yeah, oh, Eddie was griefing that. people with us on hots. Yeah. So what's still going, deal? Devin? What's at? Yeah, what's at? I'm at 155. Don't wait on me. Just um, I either if we can't like do the fixing thing, just move my character around. I can watch your stream and role play. All right. Sorry, I just yeah, you're I good. Just, nothing I can do. All right. So you pull into port. Uh, you assist the sailors in in docking the vessel and unloading a little bit of cargo as the last penance of the cost of your trip. The captain will step out onto the side and he will say, You've done well. Very well indeed. Let's head up carefully. And he'll kind of beckon you all to get a little closer as he hops down onto the docks and he takes a look around. He'll look over your shoulder and you see that he's eyeing the dock master and several of the several of the city guard. I know you listen to me. You're in deep right now. Deep. This is not a place where your kind is going to be well received. So I would suggest that you keep a low profile. Have you seen us? Yes. Hence my warning. Very well, <laughs> right, man. We, should we just, kill the ghost. We shall just toss a blanket over the, the giant orc over there. Should should Vim put the purse back on his head? 
And Gorn should have no problem. No. Of course. I only wore the... No. <laughs> in either case, you did well for me and mine. So here, here's a little something extra. He will pass you a sack of gold. Ooh. 200 gold pieces, in fact. This was the payment for me to bring you here. But seeing as how I would not be alive without you, I figure it's best to cut a little even here. <laughs> can I try and snatch the bag for myself? You can You can be the bank if you want. Yeah. Well, let me, we're, let me, com we're, com we're coming for you if you short us, dog. Can, can I take the bag and tell it? I, I think I'm better at holding wealth than all of you <laughs> fools. It doesn't matter to me. If you're so good at holding care. wealth, then how much do we eat to get? Wait, when you need it, I'll have it. You ask for it then, boy. I need it now. <laughs> I, I need to buy a shield. Give me my cut. Oh, I'm sorry. I need to buy a shield. <laughs> she, she needs a new purse. Hmm. I, your purse is fine. We, okay. There's holes in it. Well, how, how do you hold? How do you do the? Uh, holes in it. Give me the money, and when you it's, find it. Come ask for what, how much you need. I want it now. Just walk with me. Uh, okay, give me the give me the as me you the fucking start money. yelling at each other right there on the dock. The uh, the rat folk captain will kind of face palm and pinch the bridge of his long snout, and he will just simply say, "Look, you did well by me, but you gotta get your shit together." <laughs> I, I, I want to snatch the bag and put it in my pocket. Okay, I snatch it. <laughs> He's going back onto the ship. <laughs> Thanks. I'll, <laughs> I'll grab onto Flameworth and say, so how much is mine? Oh, okay, what do you need to buy? What do you mean, buy? What, do, you, do you need it now? Yes. This is for our adventure. I don't want you wasting it on anything stupid, like chairs to throw at walls. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I'll start, like, squeezing very hard on his shoulder. <laughs> Stop Stop touching me. We're a, we're a team. We need to keep a low profile. Ow! I will try and make it hurt. Okay. Can I, I'll give you ten coins to let go of me. Ten? Well, didn't, don't we, didn't he give me like two hundred? Two yes. hundred gold, yeah. yeah. Here's ten now. Just let go of me now. If you need more, come to me. We're a team. We don't want to waste it on something <laughs> stupid. Okay, I'll remember this. Uh... Maybe you give Raber gold for intercourse. <laughs> no. <laughs> for, for what? It... Intercourse. Yeah. Raber hungry. This is why <laughs> I have the gold. Now shut, the, shut up. <laughs> Come. Let's, let's go. I need to He's find a shield. learning about orcs every day. Okay. <laughs> well, so much for keeping a low profile. Oh, we are. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> All right, as you climb up the ladder to get back up to the main dock. Each and every one of you, I would hope so. And as you get to the top of the ladder, you notice that you are being approached by someone who sort of stands out from the rest of the crowd. Not only do they have a heavy, uh, heavy, heavy plated armaments, um, shined and polished to reflect the morning sun you can also see on their chest they bear the symbol of glory. Across their back is a magnificent greatsword. They wear a full helmet, complete with a crowned adornment. And they seem to be walking towards you. <laughs> um, what are you laughing at? <laughs> because we're fucked! <laughs> you mean so, we're fucked? He's, uh, he's a fucking paladin! Wistful, nice, um, nice can you move Wisp up? She'll, she'll meet I him. did. I did. Yeah. yeah. All I'll right. And then mm -hmm. you see this guy approach. Look at how fucking cool he is. That is cool. Damn. Fuck. I, I don't right. worry, guys. I got a good one. <laughs> as, uh, as he approaches, you will see that he'll take a moment, cross his arms, and just try to take a look at you. And then he will say, I must admit that many times I have seen those that step off the ships of this magnificent harbor that there are always someone that sticks out. But here I see six such individuals. Tell me, what brings you to Fireport, my friends? He asks in a friendly but affirmative tone. Ma Master Paladin, 
Have I not heard of our traveling circus? Oh, fuck. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, let's take this gamble. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> All right. The paladin will slowly turn to look at Wisp. Or not Wisp, excuse me. Oh, it is Wisp. No, I thought mm -hmm. it was I thought it was Wix or something. Uh, he turns to look at Wisp, and then he will simply say, A traveling circus. Hmm. Indeed. One of the most famous in all the land. <laughs> really? What are you called? Ah. Uh, well, we go by many names in many places. Raber. Your yes. circus's name is Raber. Yes. No, no yes, he's maybe. slow. <laughs> <laughs> he's slow. Do, please yes, ignore he's, him. He's quite confused. He, he's he's, of, he's the, the act, you see. He, he's the help. He carries stuff for <laughs> us. Hold on. I have to check this guy real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember if he... Let's see. Where is his family on the wall? <laughs> you lucky fuck. Indeed. Most orcs are such as though. Then what is the name of your traveling circus? What is it, Vim? You came up with it. <laughs> oh, the name? Yes, the it's name. It's called the... Uh, the Unwise Six. All so, right, deception it's... checks. <laughs> oh God! Can you roll one for? Can you roll one for me? Yeah. Thank you. Sweet fucking God. Um. Out of all the gambles. <laughs> all right, here we go. Um. Whispers. Whispers is uh, leading it, right? It should be okay. I. <laughs> You're very team. How do I do this again? Okay. Uh. Let's go to your uh, go to your token. Click that. Go down to skill. Then go to deception, which is like a drop down, and then you hit OK. Where do I see skill? Oh, I see. Why the fuck does your thing say the unwise? Why not the silly six? Ooh. We're out. Yes, We're out. that would have been that would have been something great to actually say. Unfortunately, <laughs> after stumbling through the woods, that's what I was given. And the fact that it took you 45 seconds to give me the name of your famous traveling circus. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, the 18's a solid roll, but that's right. not a lot to work with. <laughs> so the paladin will go, uh, Jesus. All right, he'll go, the unwise six. Well, I have to admit, that name leaves a lot to be desired. Perhaps that is why I haven't heard of you. But very well, your traveling circus... Fine. What are your performances then? Perhaps I'll come to your show. Oh, we can I, do many things. I can move fire at will. That I, one plays fire. She I'm dances. I'm an old comedian. That one is a comedian over there. A comedian. And I like to laugh. Comedian. And whom is that? Oh, he's a professional chair thrower. <laughs> He's actually really good at throwing chairs. It's really funny. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. A chair thrower. <laughs> Not just any chair thrower. He can throw several at a time, balance them, throw them all up in the air, juggle them. It's, I see. It's really cool, we swear. Raber smash. He throws chairs And what chairs is it that Raber smash? Uh, goblin... He smashes uh, many things. He's very strong. Inhuman strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ray, uh, yes, Ray well, strong. yeah, yeah. He that smashes chairs, too. He is inhuman. Very well. <laughs> well, then, unwise six, please enjoy your stay at Fireport. He'll step to the side. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. I like your goal. Thank you kindly, Master Paladin. <laughs> All right, everybody, make me an insight check. Oh, yeah, you walk thanks. Past it. Oh. Uh, You'll have to roll for me. I'm, I'm yeah, yeah, actually yeah, yeah. stuck on 155 forever. I don't know. Uh. All right, hold on. We're gonna we're nice. fixing this. All right, Flame Wrath. As you and your companions walk past the others, with a careful gaze, 
you notice that the paladin's stance is anything but welcoming. You feel as if your <clears throat> band of misfits was not able to convince him that you are, in fact, a traveling circus. <laughs> you feel that the paladin, although he has no reason to arrest you, has not done so, but you feel that his gaze is upon you. <laughs> okay. Okay, and we all know that already? No, you know that, because okay. you noticed that. All right. Angorn looks at him as he walks past. Kind of like stares at him. I don't know it. Because I am an orc, and I am big. Okay. Where's my cute little way? Okay. <laughs> team, team, right. we need to talk. We need to talk over here. Okay, and you move over here to speak. Listen. Yes, we do need to fucking talk. Listen. Who was You're... that? A fucking circus, Wisp. Well, <laughs> the unwise six, Vem? <laughs> yeah. we, okay, I can't say this in character, but I was trying so fucking hard to think of the name, and my mouse was over fucking Raver, and it just said the unwise. <laughs> <laughs> it just came to my head. Yeah. That's, okay. So you're we, both idiots. We should have gone with the silly six. Listen, listen. That man does not believe anything we said. We have messed up. We need. I wonder why. Yes, I wonder. As well. <laughs> I wonder why. Crooks so... often recognize crooks, my friend. I know this is difficult, but please don't be stupid. Please. For some of us. Who? Why who was that? Was it? Why didn't we just? Of, some kind of paladin or holy man? I don't a know. Paladin. Probably a guard of the city. Basically. Just do what normal people would do in a town, not what any of your degenerate if, minds wishes. If he's near, if you see him seeing you, do something good, like drop a coin for someone in need or something. We, he's scary. Listen, Maybe. I suggest we split up and we go in twos. There's oh. no need for us to walk at six. Uh, do, we, do we know where we're still meeting the contact? The contact is supposed to meet you. Oh. His name's okay. O'Brien. Okay. If we move as six, we're going to cause way too much suspicion. Uh, okay. I'm cool. Out of character with splitting up, and Angorn will say. Good okay. idea, young man. Fine. We shall go to the tavern I will and just... sing and dance and try to collect some information. Okay. I'll if put we're my going hand to... on Angorn. I, I grab Flame Rap. You are, you are coming with me to the market. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think we go in groups of well, two. Wisp, I think you should take Raber, because oh, well, there's no reason to have him by himself. Very good, uh, So shall we Okay. Be. You want you want to uh, go grab intercourse? Uh, <laughs> yes. Jesus. We shall we shall get you some of that and she shall dance and it shall be a grand show. Okay. But, before we leave, I, I tug Flame Wrath and I'm, we go back to the group. Okay. All right, Devin, if it's still not loaded up for you here, I'm sending you this. You can try downloading the map directly. Yeah, where do I load it to? Uh, here, boom, click that. Yeah. Go to Fireport Docks District, right-click, download that. Once mm -hmm. that's downloaded, exit out of this connected map tools, go to your own, load that as a map, and then reconnect to me, and that should fix most of the problems. Um, so I need to disconnect to do this? Yeah. Okay, so disconnect, and then, um, how do I load it in the map tools? Sorry. Okay, so you want to download it from that link, and then yeah, once that's that. downloaded, uh, you, op you just go to your regular map tools, grasslands, you go up to map, top mm -hmm. left-hand corner, go to import. import map, yep, and then you just import it from wherever you put it, and then wait for it to load like that. Right, boss. Yep, and then you reconnect to me, and that should load the caches. All right. You guys are splitting up, so Raber is going with Wisp. Well, but before we split up, I wanted to everyone like to meet back in the group. Oh, okay. Go ahead then. We we should meet back up before night. Where should we meet? Why Just not go to the inn. inn. Yes, she shall be dancing there, and she might have some information. Are there more than one inn here? We shall go to the main one. We haven't learned any yet. Just ask What's... around for the most famous one. That's the one we'll meet in. Fine. Okay. It is settled. Well. All right. Good Let's luck. Let's try not to meet there at the same time. Don't die. We need you. <laughs> Shouldn't and we go to a backwater inn? What did you say? 
Shouldn't we go to a backwater inn? Uh, Not the most famous. I mean, for the purpose of meeting up later, we should use the most famous one. But yes, we should also go to one of those. We shall meet at the famous one, and she shall go there. It's Bro. the easiest place to get information. Master Orc, come along. We must get you your uh, intercourse, as it were. Uh, okay. So where the fuck do we go? Yes, where are you going? <laughs> yeah, do that first. I gotta go get some pizza, Birby. Okay. Uh, we're just looking for, like, a shop. A shop of any kind, you say? Well, like a like a weapon shop. Oh, like she, calls weapon weapon she calls shop, after Vim. You if you find her a purse. Well, you want us to... I mean, we can't hear you. <laughs> well, she, like, called before they left or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Vim ignored it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's she see. thinks that you didn't ignore her. <laughs> Where is the actual... Hold on. I got a lot of shops here. Okay. I think this is the weapon one. Yeah, this is the weapon one. All right. All right. As you kind of look around for the weapon shop, eventually you're able to find a few signs that say... The edge ahead. Ooh. And whilst moving through the docks district, you also pass by this graveyard. Look at that. Whoa. God damn. That's cool. I really like the graveyard, so I wanted to show it off. Uh, let's see. Oh, there I'm it looking is. through it. It takes a. It's big. I gotta scroll a lot. Eventually, as you make your way through the winding streets of Fireport, you happen upon. The blacksmith here, the edge ahead. One second, please. Ooh. Sorry, I'm a little behind on loading, so you might have to give me a second here. So this is the first time I've That's ever fine. played split up in a D&D &D group. Do we kind of just do like one person's turn at a time, essentially? Okay, so essentially what we do is I do, since I can only do one thing at a time, yeah. uh, I go to each each group split. Uh, give them a little bit of time to do their thing, and then I switch back and forth, and I do that to keep everything chronologically in the proper order. Okay. Until you guys meet back up again. All right. That's pretty much it. So we'll just we'll just do our thing, and then you'll say. Uh... Then I'll just switch. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I'll just do something like, "Meanwhile, over here." Yeah, and then we'll. Right. Got it. So no worries there. All right. As you approach this. Uh, this particular blacksmith, you can see that the pounding of the anvil can be heard from inside from many different apprentices. And even though it is a rather small place, it seems to be doing rather well for itself. You notice that there is uh, that there are a lot of masterwork tools, that the place is impeccably clean, and you also notice a few uh, magnificent pieces for sale. Is this where you want to shop? Do you see any other place? This place had a sign. I saw a graveyard. Oh, are we going to dig up a corpse with a shield in it? That would be more fun, but we're trying to keep a low profile, so I'll in entertain this endeavor. What the fuck do you mean, fun? It just sounds like more fun. Get, get, get in the fucking shop. I'm coming. Alrighty, then. As you enter the shop, you uh, you will suddenly hear a ding, 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 even though there's no bell anywhere. Perhaps a magical enchantment upon the door. And you see this guy kind of, like, pop up from behind. Ooh. A homely dwarf leaps up over the counter, and he approaches you. He is well-groomed and looks looks as if he just got out of a fancy ball. I like right. your hair. Hello. He will approach. I thank you so much. I have trimmed it quite a bit. Welcome to the edge ahead. My name's Hoedown. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, Hoedown. Come on in, come on in. Do you see anything that fancies you? Currently, no. I'm looking for a shield, one of great quality. Ah, you're looking to defend yourself. Yes. <laughs> I fucking need it. Okay. <laughs> Looking to defend yourself or deal some damage? What? <laughs> <That's>... Nothing. <laughs> Excuse... Old joke. Excuse my friend, he's stupid. All right. What? 
What kind of Why killer are you, you looking that? for? Heavy, tower, light, buckler. Hmm? Fuck. <laughs> Hold on. All right. I told you, he's stupid. You want a regular one? I'd like a regular shield. So, a heavy shield? Yes. As you wish, my friend. Let's see here. We have many shields. Oh, do you do you have any particular adornments that you'd like? Yes. Very well. Would what like, would you like? I would like it to have a spider insignia on it. A cool. Sp spider, you say? Yes. Hmm. All right. Must be a Daltinian. Hmm. He'll start to uh, move the shields around. He finds one with a plain one. <clears throat> I'll hand this off to the apprentices. That will be 25 gold pieces. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> how are, hey. Oh, uh, how would you... I heard, I heard from over here. How would you fancy 20 gold pieces for the shield? How would you fancy giving me my fucking gold? <clears throat> it's called bartering, boy. Be quiet. He's... Excuse me. Very well. He's <laughs> making a fucking insignia for me. Yes, but we could get it for cheaper. Or we could just buy it. How about this? And be on our way. <clears throat> Excuse me. We will buy it for 25 gold pieces and we'll throw in a ticket to our circus. <laughs> oh. oh! Oh my goodness, I love the theater. Yes, we are the... Uh, the unwise oh, six. Them kicks. <laughs> the unwise the six. I've, I'm, I apologies. I've never heard of you, but oh, that's so exciting. Make sure you spread the word that we are the unwise six. I, I kick six. him in the knee before he says that. Okay, listen. <laughs> we need to. I want to. I want to whisper to them. We need to convince people that there is a circus. So maybe that man on the dock will believe it. Maybe hey. if we become the talk of the town. Hey. Stop talking and give me the 25 gold. I just, I give you the 25 gold and shrug. Here, sorry, my friend is a simpleton. <laughs> it's no problem. Well then, where will I have this delivered? Uh, I, I can just come get it. Oh, very well. It should be done in approximately uh, about an hour or so. I, I will be there. All Here. right then. And I will, uh, I will come to your performance, uh, Unwise Six. I'm very excited. Yes, spread yes. the word. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> oh, what a lovely couple. All right. I... And now we're going to move on to the next people. <laughs> oh, good times. I like the circus idea, actually doing the circus. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, back across the way... Raber and Wiss, what are you guys doing? Um, we're going to a tavern. All right, then. Time to go look for a tavern. Did that work, by the way, Devin? It did. It's perfect. Nice. Excellent. God bless. We just have to load before, I mean, like, before episodes, we just have to, like. Yeah, I just, I just send my, I'll just send you the if shit. It's, if it's a big one. Like, I think the small ones I load, totally fine, but the these, like, huge ones are tough. Yeah. Okay. That feeling I have to zoom out a little bit. Oh, there we go. There it is. All over the place. Where did I put you? City is gigantic. There you oh, are. If you stream, I feel like we're going to have to actually are. do it. Oh, God! Actually, you're in the top center. <laughs> oh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Okay. All right. Do you want a, a steak? Eventually, you find some signs, okay. and so uh, Raybird doesn't eat anyone yet. We're That's gonna, good. We're going to, because I, I got popcorn. I ordered Instant Cart steaks. I got me the cheap. We're, uh, yeah. we're going to have to we're send staying ahead of the, uh, mask of the call, mask. as it were. Okay. Okay? Until that, eventually yeah, you okay. come upon an enormous building yeah. in the center, uh, kind of like to the center south of the town, uh, and it will say the Fire Flower. Fuck, I lost as it. An, as an elegant uh, sort of carving of a flower in the side of the wall, complete with a with a muralled painting, and it looks all very lavish and over the top. Well, this tavern seems good as any. Uh. <laughs> Raber no like flowers. Raber like meat. Tell me, Master Orc, what is thy favorite food? Meat. 
Well, perhaps we shall find some in here. Uh, okay. Let us go. All right, and the party and the two of you enter the tavern. I need to put on tavern music. Hang on. We'll look around. Is there like a food server or anybody? Yep, there's plenty of people in here. Okay. Um, I think like what Wisp would do is um, she tried to go find some food for Raper and then like sort of start doing a perf either be on like a subway and some annoying guy jumps on and starts doing an act. Yeah. Yeah, that's what she's going to do. <laughs> for, it ex just, you know, try to chat up the tables and like uh, get some information and just. All right, information out, gathering. Going. Give me a persuasion check. Let's see how much you can gather. Okay. And she will try to find some meat for Raver. Um, let me remember how to do that. Uh, uh, hey, sorry, what's the check? Uh, persuasion check. Okay. All right. All right. A solid roll. A wisp moves about the crowd Holy with shit. a with a practiced skill. Like a chameleon, she walks in and out of conversations. And then eventually, she's able to uncover a little bit. The first thing that she's able to uncover is that it seems that there is a bit of a worried stance of the local government. It seems that they are concerned about several things. One of the biggest reasons that they are concerned is not only with the Herald shining its light in the sky, which has everyone in a small state of panic, but there is also whispers and rumors of ne'er-do-wells just off the coast, the northwestern coast, where it is said that the hags still steal children and beguile men into their foul machinations. Furthermore, there is also uh, a local rumor, it would seem, that Fireport has been de Fireport has been dealing with an increase in crime. Mm. Um, would she be able to find somebody to do a performance for and like get a few gold for Raber? Well, if you want to actually perform, you may. Raber is uh, very nervous around random people, so he just kind of stands in the corner. Okay, <laughs> go ahead and give me a performance he, check. The goth dances in the corner. Uh, I somehow like lost my menu. Uh -oh. How many people are in this bar? Oh my god! How Ooh. many people? Yeah. Uh, it's even though they don't have tokens, there's a lot of people in here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty then. As you make your performance, um, it would seem that the bar is simply. The, the tavern is simply too crowded to make a proper performance, and you uh, find yourself kind of not hitting all the marks. But there are enough drunk people here that any sort of entertainment is, well, better than no entertainment. And some silver pieces will be thrown at you. Ooh, totally. can, I, can I attempt to, like, pick up uh, Wisp? And um, Wisp does, like, a performance on top of me or something? Yeah, like is a it... sword dance on top of the orc, yeah. All right. Can so I wish... do a performance check? This could go in our circus. Sure. Okay. Uh, I do a performance. Raber does a performance check. <laughs> I see. Where's where... performance under? Is that under skill That's check? A skill. That's a skill. Yep. Oh, okay. I just fucked something up. I see. We're practicing for the circus. <laughs> this is unbelievable. <laughs> All right. Well, oh, it's better. Raber, uh, to his credit. <laughs> Is actually quite the, uh... <laughs> oh god. To his credit, is quite the solid foundation in order to perform such a trick. Raber lifts Wisp above his head easily, and for just a moment, they are graceful. The entirety of the tavern begins to clap slightly before Raber accidentally throws Wisp into the ceiling. <laughs> and he falls down on top of him, and they roll onto the floor. Everyone laughs uproaringly and starts to clap even further. Drunk people, <laughs> cheers in the background, clanging glasses. Gold starts being flung at you. I hope they plug You make circus. about ten gold pieces. Plug the circus. I don't hey. want to tell them this. Wisp will try stuff. as hard as she can to like stand up and make it look like that was the that was the trick all along, but she's just Thankfully, like stumbling. They in. are drunk and they think that it was. <laughs> <laughs> 
very good, Master Ord. Perhaps a, a little lower next time. <laughs> a man will approach the two of you, clapping uh, with a with an honest smile on his face, and you will see this uh, this gnome. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> Bravo! 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 Very good! Very good! Uh, greetings to you, friend! Anno Caliano, at your service! Uh, tell me, tell me, you must tell me! What? Are you a, are you a traveling troop? Uh, we are indeed, Master Gnome. And what? what is the name of your traveling <laughs> Yes! <laughs> she looks at Ray Barat. Uh, she believes we are the unwise six. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Unwise six. Ah, I see. It is a it is a ploy on uh, uh, on, on on being uh, stumbling fools. Yes, quite so. Oh my <laughs> goodness gracious! Well, you you simply must. I insist that I buy you lunch. Yes. Oh, of course. The master orc is favors meat. Have you any here? Oh yes. We have all kinds of meat here. Come, join, 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 join. Sit, 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 sit. Psst. Hey. You think uh, they have uh, intercourse for Raber? Yes, I, I believe she is getting that for you right now. Okay. Let us go. Remember, right. chat. If takes a seat. Reber thinks intercourse and means he'll order food. some drinks and food. And the uh, and let me set you off to snap there. Now you can sit down. What? Let me just remind the chats that I still think intercourse means meat from episode one. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people think you know. I'm actually trying to have sex. <laughs> God. All right. As you all take your seats at the table, um, the little gnome will kind of stand up on top of his and he will, and he will go, well, I must tell you, that was the most fun that I've had in the last couple of weeks because... Oh, by Varen's grace, I cannot seem to find anyone in this blasted city that knows how to have a good time. Too many of these people here are stuck up and they don't want to ever talk to Anno. Anno tries to throw a party and guess what happens? Anno gets asked to stop having a party. And let me tell you something about me. I'm a party animal. I'm unbelievably, I'm, I, I just need it. And it, it, it's, it's, it's just such a great thing to see performers come through we haven't had performers through here since the last time and unfortunately they turned out to be cannibals so you don't look like animal to raber you look like gnome oh well thank you very much my friend and you don't much look like one of those terrifying orcs of savage past no you look like a fine fellow with a large girth oh uh, no raber orc all right then <laughs> 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 nice. She, Wisp looks helplessly to the gnome. <laughs> the gnome, the you gnome. Have to do the for me, dude. You can't leave me to talk. <laughs> All right. Well, th these are darker days. We must do what we shall do. What we must to stay together. Ah, you're right about that, my friend. It is uh, truly. The days seem to grow longer. I've noticed. I go about my duties at Tuverin, and, and uh, the people have a bit of hopelessness about them. I see it, whispered at the edges of their minds. They come to me for their confessions, and they seek their admonishments, and they, they, they seek their blessings, but I serve the God of forgiveness, and yet I see no forgiveness in their minds, not for each other, and not for themselves. I must say, we need joy in these times, joy and kindness happiness but there is no fun to be had but with the wars to the east with the whispers to the south and the north the north is all awash with all sorts of corruption and the reenactment of the inquisition is perhaps the most disturbing of all to me for never has there been a time that the inquisition has been activated but there has been good times to follow. You sound well traveled, Master Gnome. I get around. Hmm. Well, she is uncertain how we may be of use to you. Truly and honestly, good conversation and 
entertainment is all I needed. Just simply a little tit for tat, you see? A mm. little drink, a little food. It's the least I can pay for after that marvelous performance. Well, Although, perhaps... I do have a question. Of course. Now, <clears throat> it would be, uh, what is the word, uh, uncouth of me to ask, but I simply must. What is it that brings such a large fellow like this orc and yourself to this place? Because I have never heard of your, of your troop. Is that why you are here truly? Ah, uh, to be truthful, we have uh, run ourselves out of the previous towns and uh, our performances were a little too extreme. And thus, we have heard that there is uh, someone we seek here to find us perhaps a new life and to start a new living. But we have oh. been unable to locate them as of yet. Now, perhaps I can be of assistance. I know quite a few people in this city. Uh, whom are you looking for? Do I, I, I'm sorry, I would know this in character, but I don't remember the name. O'Brien. Uh, we seek a man named O'Brien, who has promised us a better future than our last. And O'Brien, hmm. Well, there is one individual I know of that name. Are you sure that he's the one that you seek, however? We cannot be certain, but it is the only lead that we have. Well then, I do know of such a man. He is, however, hmm, he'll kind of take a long, like a long moment before he like fully answers and he'll say, he's currently imprisoned, <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, truly, she whisprinkles her nose. Uh, to, to, to what end? What, what has he done? Well, I've only heard rumors, but apparently he has been imprisoned for <clears throat> uh, promiscuity. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, Damn. It, it, is, it, what it, does it, that mean? <laughs> he whispers things for a moment. Uh, he, he was a bit too interested in uh, other genders. Uh, okay. Girls, Raver. Uh, and, and and so, pray tell, Master Gnome, d does such a does such a charge require imprisonment in these lands? Oh, it's uh, well, no, not exactly. The level of promiscuity that he was uh, imprisoned for is quite extreme, <laughs> quite <laughs> exceptional to the rule. I I assure you. <laughs> In fact, I don't think I've ever seen the law of promiscuity ever used in my entire lifetime until this man. Um, what, pray tell, might they know where prisoners of this nature are kept? Right, you'll probably want to see them. Well, okay. simply follow the road here to the east, and then go southward, and then you will take three more turns. But by then you should see the signs. For the prison? Well, not the full prison. It's not like he's he's not he's not going to the iron or anything. No, it's a, it's the jailhouse. He he'll probably be there for uh, maybe a week or so. Oh, We're not savages. Good. The man was only promiscuous. He wasn't. Well, as far as I know, he was only promiscuous. Who knows? He's not exactly what I would call of the um, <laughs> representative ilk. You see. Well, you have been very most helpful, Master Gnome. He'll, he'll kind of give you a nod. Please, enjoy this food and drink. Raber slams down his mug. He's already finished. He points over at... Uh, this guy's a gnome, right? The gnome's yeah. food. Uh, tiny man gonna finish that? You know, I don't think I will, my friend. There you go. You're a growing boy, it would seem. Wisp uh, neatly cuts mm -hmm. a couple of pieces of meat off with her knife and then passes the rest over to Raber. Uh, we have to pay, uh, shinies for this? No, no, friend. It is a gift. Uh, well, most kind, Master Gnome. I consider it a fair recompense for what I just witnessed. Also, <clears throat> he'll lean in kind of conspiratorially. If you're going to pretend to be a troop, you should probably wear a uniform. It'll be more believable. Wink. <laughs> she, she just inclines her head, uh, like in a in a noble gesture. Oh, 
He'll smile and lean back in his chair and start making his pipe. I bid you farewell and good fortune. We need to get uniforms. Raider like gnome. Perhaps sometime in the future, if we are to meet again, we shall meet as friends, Master Gnome. I should hope so. Fare thee well. Unwise six. <laughs> Raver hands the gnome one of his apples. Oh, thank you, friend. <laughs> I've never eaten that shit. <laughs> well, he's not going to throw it away in front of him. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, Master Orc. <laughs> We shall, we shall find the rest of our party as we have uh, found what we've come for. Yes? All right. Now, sure, four and moon. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, as you get up to leave, make me a religion check, uh, the two of you, oh, to see you? if you can identify the holy symbol that Anno wears around his, uh, around his neck. Religion. Ah, yes, of course. Religion. Well, actually... <laughs> Well, Raber, this would actually make sense canonically of why you would recognize it. Um, Anno bears the symbol of Varen, the god of redemption and forgiveness. Specifically, um, the tribes, the Orcish tribes, have seen his ilk a lot because oftentimes uh, they have been sent out in order to heal the sick and wounded. Uh, they are probably the kindest hand that the civilized world has ever shown the Orcish tribes. In fact, it is in no small part to the priests of Varen why your kind is even allowed inside Orb at this time. Wow. So, yeah, out of out of any of the religious symbols, this would probably be the one that you would recognize. So that means we could trust this guy. You can, maybe. <laughs> For the, I don't want to say that you could just trust him straight up, but he certainly, he's, he certainly seems better than the Paladin of Glory and more yeah. understanding. I like this guy. Alrighty then. Raber like and now, and now we move on to the next. Meanwhile, across the way. <clears throat> the least conspicuous pair of all. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Two heavily armored not death knights stand <laughs> next to each other, gazing out over the ocean. <laughs> is the Paladin of Glory still on the dock? He is. Is he just staring at us? He is not. He's going about his other duties, but you get the feeling that he hasn't stopped keeping an eye on you. <laughs> this is going to be Any awful. Any ideas, Nidhogg? I have a plan for tonight, but not as of now. Wasn't the contact supposed to come to us? Yes. <laughs> Gornok. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell is he? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I have no idea, my friend. How about this? Why don't... Your idea earlier was perfect. Why don't we go to one of the lesser-known taverns and see, perhaps, if we can introduce ourselves to the underbelly? Lead the way. <laughs> All right, well, he will do that, and... Uh... You want me to go first, or will you get lost in the crowd? <laughs> Just tell me if I'm going to trip over something or run into somebody. All right. Uh, as we're walking, uh, we'll stop... Someone who doesn't look like they would be terrified, <laughs> like, like a fucking street like urchin, a, a, a young, yeah, like a street urchin. Is, is any anyone uh, who nice. would? All right. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you uh, you stop somebody that does not look like they would be afraid of you. Oh. Who <laughs> knows? Um, and we would ask them. Oh. Oh. Wait, I know this guy. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hail, traveler. Hey. <laughs> Say, uh, my friend and I, we are, uh, not so keen on going to the most popular tavern. I was wondering, perhaps, if you had a suggestion to one that might be a bit less crowded. Oh, I don't like crowds either. Uh, I could show you if you'd like. All right. <laughs> Follow me then. <laughs> Damn, this guy's fucking cool as shit. It's the most edgy trio I've ever seen. <laughs> Where do you get these guys? <laughs> Many a places. 
<laughs> Where the hell did I go? Oh. You're inside of him, dude. He's inside of me. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. All right, let's see here. All right, so this individual will lead you through the city uh, towards a <clears throat> less crowded tavern. As he does so, he will say, So, what brings you to Fireport? Business. <laughs> yes, business. Nice. <laughs> a man of your stature and solemn carry thoroughly understands the need for business. Yeah. <laughs> He's so fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> Me and him are gonna have good conversations. <laughs> How long have you lived around here? Don't really live around here. Just visiting. Doing mm. my job. God, this place is huge. And Gordon doesn't want to talk to this guy. <laughs> Why the fuck did you tell him to lead us somewhere? Then? <laughs> I mean, he doesn't want to have a conversation with him. He's cool with being led by him, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're right. that group that's cool at walking in silence, you know? All right, group. and as the three of you uh, stone cold, cool as fuck, walk over here, uh, he will lead you towards uh, a really ruddy, shoddy in slash tavern that looks more like a, a boarding house and it will say the beggars rest above it and then he will say here you go oh small off to the side say Should before be looking for. before you go uh what do you know about a mm, paladin of glory that wears a crown that doesn't really narrow it down they're all pretentious they all wear a crown crown circlet Ugh. He had a, sun, one. a sunburst tabard. Hmm. It was black. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, you're probably referring to Tylos. Perhaps. Uh, don't worry about him. He thinks he's a lot more important than he is. So what, what would his uh, position in the hierarchy of uh, the local guard be then? He isn't a guard. He's, uh... <sighs> He's here directly from the White Council. He's an aspirant to join the Inquisition. So he... He's not even good enough to be in their Inquisition. I guess not. <laughs> Does he have any underlings by chance roaming about? <laughs> I don't know. I hope not. He was very rude to my friend and I when we stepped off the boat, so I was wishing to file an official complaint. I'll give him a stern talking to the next time I see him. Wait, are you his boss? No. <laughs> <laughs> Angorn, Angorn gives him like a very like, he's like, gives him a couple like the slow nods. He's like, yeah, this guy's all right. <laughs> We're friends now, smile. <laughs> my name's Angorn. Alexander Knight. And I'll grasp your hand and strength check. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> you both squeeze each other's hands, and he'll nod. Strong grip. Trustworthy hands. And he'll go up to here. Alexander Knight. Nidhog. Strike check. Strike check. Strike check. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Wait, where the fuck? You lost, bitch. Give up. <laughs> no, I can't even see my strength check for some reason. It's a skill check. No, it's ability check. It's ability. It's ability. Yeah, yeah. You ain't beating no 24. <laughs> this guy rolls a nat 20. <laughs> Strong grip. I will nod respectively. Seeing as how we all know how strong we are, uh, he will then say, So, want to hang out? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just look at it. <laughs> Hold on, let me let me mull this over. Um, this guy doesn't look like a criminal, and we're looking for criminals. Well, 
he doesn't look like a criminal, no. Um, I'm just thinking out loud. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I think we gotta say no. <laughs> I feel so bad. <laughs> Look, my friend, we've had a long boat ride, and uh, my friend and I are just going to drink in silence. It's honestly a miracle that we're willing to be together to do so. That's cool. <laughs> he'll hit you with the deuces, and then he'll just walk away. <laughs> that guy was cool as hell, and you ditched him! <laughs> yeah, he probably crazy. hasn't had friends in this whole fucking town also he doesn't care make about me a religion check because i know who you two know who what what god he yeah. follows but yeah make religion just to make sure that angor and nidhogg do what happened yeah. to him okay the, those religion checks you know that he is a follower of Eos, the goddess of fairness quality and of course strife of course yeah, maybe he would have been all right. he's gone <laughs> no the fact that he is associated with the the glory suck up made it so that we could not unfortunately share a drink with him. However, let's go inside. I'm getting cold. Me and him would have not gotten along if he opened his mouth about religion. <laughs> he didn't seem to open his mouth about very much at all. And they always <laughs> come up somehow. <laughs> That's true, I suppose. The first time we The met. very first you talked to me, you tried to assimilate me. <laughs> Please understand that it is my lord's will that I attempt to recruit every strong person I can to our cause. It's your will through the will of your lord, not your lord's will. Yeah, what semantics, it doesn't matter. I'm totally okay with it. <laughs> As most drolls to their gods are. Need I remind you what happened on our boat ride on the way here? You cannot deny their power. I cannot deny it, but they do it selfishly. That's the problem. To presume that you yourself are worth anything in the eyes of a god is folly, my friend. And that's why they should all suffer. <laughs> Every life is equal. I, I suppose I, I could agree that some gods deserve to suffer. <laughs> okay, so you notice that you haven't been served yet. Um, <laughs> nor have you been approached. Because the two of you sat down and just started talking about heavy shit. <laughs> and you're also wearing dark armor. Just look at you. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? You know exactly what I meant. <laughs> Just look at, look at Never mind, two. I'm like 6'5", but... You guys... Go fetch, go fetch the server, Nidhogg. You seem to be the more of a talker. Why should I? Fine. <laughs> and he gets up. <laughs> 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 All right, you, 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 uh, and you see a, a very small, um, kind of meek looking halfling old woman will kind of look around the corner. Uh, it seems that she and many of the guests were hiding from you. <laughs> <laughs> I think you took us to the wrong bar. Did, did she look like she was revealing herself from hiding as she stepped out? Yeah, she just kind of pokes around the wall. Hello. What? Why are you cowering, girl? <laughs> uh, because, um, she'll just kind of do the, the open-handed, like, gesture towards you. We're not here to hurt you. Oh, Do I, do I hear right. the conversation, or is she too timid from here? Well, you can't hear what she's saying, but you can hear yeah, what he's saying. Like. <laughs> well, all right, sis. What hold, would you hold, like? Hold on. Where are all the patrons? They, um... Had to go back to work. Wait, the yeah. patrons were the workers. Can I incite her? <laughs> <laughs> she is. She is not good at lying. Okay. Uh, Angorn will look over her, uh, which is impressive because he is also short. And he'll get a little bit closer, and he'll, he'll say loudly, "Come out! <laughs> Come out!" A couple of other people who aren't important enough for tokens start looking around the corner. It, I, I, don't I think what's it's going okay. On. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, don't mind my friend. He's he's quite cuddly, in fact. He is? No. Oh. <laughs> what seems to be the problem? <laughs> They're scared of us. But why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that's the fucking shit right there. Why, though? <laughs> I don't understand. 
Look. How how old is this this Donny person look to me? The half, she's an old halfling, so she's probably like probably like eighty five. I'll walk up close to her, like stand up, cause I know she's like scared as fuck, right? <laughs> yeah, she is. I came from shaking. A... Do you need help with anything around here? What do you mean? Heavy lifting, something to fix with strength. Oh, well, the roof has a hole I can't reach. Where? Where are the boards to repair it? Um, we have some in the back. Fetch them for me. O okay. Why? I come from a warring land. You help the old, because they cannot help themselves. What of what of her kin? Why must it be you? What do you mean? She's not alone. What the, there are plenty of capable men. They haven't here. fixed it yet. That's because they're lazy and drunk. And I have nothing better to do. Um, there you are, sir. Thanks. And I'll try <laughs> fixing up the roof. <laughs> Nidhogg becomes a responsible man and starts fixing the roof. Now perhaps you trust us. <laughs> he says in a very <laughs> <unfair> <laughs> <chat>. <laughs> he, He's using this like I tried to do it as like some alternative motive. <laughs> Alright, well that's Well that's a minor act of good, I guess. Um Tani will look up with a smile on her face, no longer put off by the two of yours uh kind of like prickly outer appearance. I'm so sorry, says to have judged you wrongly. It seems you've got good hearts. <laughs> I zoomed in on your token, Moon. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yes, good. Uh, anyhow, we actually came here for some drink, some food, and of course, some illegal gambling. Oh, there's lots of that. And she'll kind of softly touch your arm. Let me lead you back to the table, sir. Very good. She'll sit you down and starts doting on you in a grandmotherly way. <laughs> Cleaning off your helmet. Won't you, know, you take off your helmet to eat, sir? I can't. Oh, dearie, I'm so sorry. You must be so lonely in there. No, however, removing it would be extremely painful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You really wanted to say that. I was, why'd you lay me up? <laughs> it would be very painful for you. <laughs> All right, and Donnie will then start to make some food, and uh, she'll have some of her, her helpful servants come and spread it out. And then she will say, I hope you don't mind me, but... Try putting this in some of your armor. It'll give you a right good smell, it will. Are you implying that I'm smelly? No. <laughs> well, I might be. I haven't showered in probably <laughs> a couple hand, of years now. She'll hand you, the, she'll hand you some, some strange flowers. Uh, Angor puts them through his visor. And, like, they smell nice. Them. <laughs> Tell no one you saw this. Of course not. <laughs> She'll pat you on the arm. See, she thinks that you're just Sundari. She doesn't understand that you will actually kill her. <laughs> so until then, she is a loving, grandmotherly type. It watches. It's been a while. It's been a while since I tasted the blood of the weak. <laughs> Donnie will come around the corner and will uh, pass Nidhogg some lemonade. <laughs> Water's fine. <laughs> Maybe some water instead. I'll take it. And go back. 1950s uh, capable dad Nidhog is fixing the fucking ceiling. <laughs> All right. Warrior. No, no, no. I'm not against this. It's just like, I am death. I will fix the ceiling. <laughs> I need souls to eat. But after I fix this shelf. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the blacksmith. 
Also, how, how long as is a it side been? note, am I, if I'm remembering correctly, that knight that was talking to me and Angorn, wasn't that the guy that was making the fucking death pack thing with the aspect of Lorne? What, the, the art I was using? Yeah, I think so. Okay, but different, it's a different person? Character. It's a different oh, okay, character. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, yeah. I, uh, I did not have the appropriate amount of time to pick unique art this time. No problem. I was Apologies. Just it's not him, though. It is not him. It is not gotcha. him. Gotcha. Okay. All right. The two of you are now standing outside of the blacksmith. Uh, about, yeah, about 20, 30 minutes have passed. Um, I have a question. So with pre designation or whatever, can I like make items that are permanent? Like little small things? Permanent? No. Oh. They're like temporary, like little creations. Their prestigitation is more along the lines of like. Okay. Like doing like entertaining stuff, like making a, a like, ooh, a toy train appear out of your hat or some weird stuff. Well, I wanted stuff to put like up fly. Would it, would it last for a day or so if I started putting up flyers? I think it lasts, it lasts like an hour. Okay. Can I start just like as, as we walk around, I'm just passively putting up flyers for our circus on the walls? Yeah, you can do that. Okay. That's that's fine. <laughs> Let's do that. I'm doing that as we walk. Yeah. So you really want to do this circus thing? <laughs> well, I think it's good for our cover. Wouldn't you agree? Oh I truly, <laughs> truly don't know. Well, I mean, okay, all right, is there people around us? Well, you're in a city, so there's people everywhere, but whether or not they're going to be listening to you, that's, I mean, they're going about their day. All right. Obviously, you're going to be the one juggling fire things. Yes, I'm very good at it, too. Y you need to practice. Do it now. I don't need to practice, boy. I do yes, it for a living. Do. No, I don't, fool. I've been to school. Have you? I... <laughs> No. <laughs> My life is practice, boy. So you can juggle. Yes. Then do it. Okay. And I start... I craft little fireballs, and I just kind of juggle them a little bit. Do I need to roll? Wow, look at that. Uh, make me a performance check to see how well you put them in his place. Okay. Uh, <laughs> performance. Uh. <laughs> well... <laughs> You don't do well, but you do actually do it. So, technically, you're right. I can do better, I swear, but there, you see, I'm, I'm capable. I'm sure you can. Now, what Listen. can you do? Oh, what can I do? What can yes. I do? Yes, what can you do? We're a team. Uh, I look around for, like, a bug. <laughs> a bug? Okay. Yes. There's just an innocent cicada just chilling on the side of the back. I that, take uh, the house. cicada. Okay. You All see right. this? Yes, I do. And then I enclose it in my hands, and I use press digitation and turn it into a rat. Whoa. Look at this. I can transform things. So you see, our cover is good. We can make a great circus. Wouldn't you agree? If it came rat. down to it. I seriously thought you were going to eat it. <laughs> no. It's a cute little rat. Now, set it free. It did nothing. Whatever. And then as, as it starts right. walking it, away, it, I set it, it on fire. It flies away because it's okay. Yeah. I turn it into a bird and it flies away. Well, I want to burn it. it. I want to, like, burn it. It's it's dead. You, you, you did it. You defeated the cicada. Perfect. <laughs> Why did you do that? Because I don't want it flying around and changing in front of other people. <laughs> and I also stick out my tongue and he sees that it's, like, all split. I'm Gross. also the freak. <laughs> 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 That's... Good, good. See, this is perfect. We make a great team. The unwise six. I'm so excited to be part of a team. Truly. Now, God. what do we do? We need to give directions. Hour? We need to. Well, it's been 30 minutes. You're not good at juggling. I guess. I mean, it was all right. Maybe we should practice in front of someone. Yeah, maybe we should practice, like I said, until you went off on that spiel about how you went to school. Well, maybe I can't perform well in front of others. That's really bad for what we're doing. Uh, yes, I agree. Let's find someone. Well, let's ask for a round. We need to find directions to the inn. Okay, go ahead. You ask. I just... <laughs> a random person says, Oh, hello, traveler. Oh, okay. Yes, he sees them. Can I help you with something, sir? Yes. Where's your... What inn do people like to visit the most? Ah, uh, let's see. Well, if you're short on coin, there's always... There's always the beggar's rest, but I personally suggest the Fire Flower. Oh, it's a fantastic place. I like that Full place. Full of the most beautiful women. The Fire Flower, huh? 
Now is this place expensive? Ah, it's not too expensive as long as you know you spend responsibly. We're looking to spend some coin. Can you direct us toward this inn? Of course, sir. You want to go off to the east there. You want to follow the signs. I'll take you to the north. And then you got to go further, further, further to the east and you'll see it. It's the biggest building. Got it. Biggest building to the east. Right. Thank you very much. You're welcome, madam. He'll leave. Make, uh, I'm, I'm not a girl. Before he leaves, I want to point to the flyer. <laughs> oh, he'll pick it up. <laughs> yes. A circus? I'll go get the... Th wow! I'll go gather all my friends! Yes. We are the unwise uh, six. Yeah. Now lead the way, Vim. We need to practice our act. Let's I go. have an idea. Okay. Come over here. Oh, all right. We just we just want to find a stretch of like I, area that has few yeah. people. Yeah, you're gonna be street performers. Got it. Oh god. <laughs> all right. All right. Now, you get ten feet away. No, twenty feet away from me. Right. Now I want you to throw a low-powered fireball at me. Low? Low-powered? Just throw a little flame at me. Okay. Uh, wh what do I do to s check this? Uh, now watch. Uh, just, you're fine. Just, you just do it. It's okay. I throw a little flame at him. And I used press digitation to poof it away. While it's mid-air coming toward me. Wow. Whoa! <laughs> A, 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 a kid on the side of the road. Wow! Behold! That was cool, wasn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, we are part of the Unwise Six, a new circus in town. <laughs> Do not fear us. We are your friends. Stop <laughs> Stop talking. <It's> strangely <laughs> ominous. But you know what? Make me a persuasion check. Let's see how many people uh, are down with that. <laughs> Do not fear us. <laughs> Do not fear us. Uh, we have nothing to hide. Strange that he would say that, but all right. Persuasion. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Several people are now listening to Flame Rat. Uh, dozens of people are coming by to watch the performance, and they're like, did you hear that? He said, unwise, unwise six. Unwise six? I've never heard of them. Oh, wow. That one's handsome. I really like that girl. <laughs> 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 They love you, Vim. You're famous. All right, give me a uh, performance checks, you two, to see how well you can sell this. <laughs> Please don't fuck up. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, um performance. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. All right, you uh, throw a fire, a little fire bolt that you accidentally put too much power into directly at Vim, who dodges deftly out of the way, which is not supposed to be a part of the show. It was literally Vim not wanting to get hit in the face. But he catches it as it goes by, swirls it back around, makes it into the form of a dragon before it explodes into mist. Everyone, everyone watching is, <gasps> yeah, woo! Everybody starts losing their shit. Gold starts getting thrown at you. On Y6! Wow, I can't believe it! Thank you, thank you. And remember, we'll be performing at the inn to the east. Fuck. <laughs> What's the name? He's uh, got to be talking about the fire flower. The, the, oh, the fire flower. We're going to be performing the at the fire flower. Fire flower. Ooh, yeah, yo, dude, I'm going tonight. Oh, man, I was going to go to my wife's birth and fuck that. Yes, you will all behold our power, our entertainingness. Entertainingness, wow, that's a crazy <laughs> word. Much like the fire flower, I will provide you with excellent fire techniques like this dragon you just saw. It, it comes from me though, it's what I do, not him. That's, it's a, it's a, it's a dual thing, it's, Two man act. It's the unwise six. Be there or be square. Oh, dude, I don't want to be a square. <laughs> and they all, all right. And you, you guys make ten gold. Should we uh, head back to get the shield? Has it been time or no? <laughs> yeah, you can head back and get the shield. 
Okay. What the fuck was that? Last time you turned my little fireball and got rid of it instantly, I decided to power up a little more this time. How about you decide not to fuck up on the big night? Yes, the big night is where it matters. God, that was embarrassing. You're so lucky I fucking carried your ass. But did you did you hear them call me handsome and you a girl? <laughs> Why don't you wait outside? <laughs> well, unwise six, it would seem that your shield was done. Here you are. And Thank I you, oh, Rodan. And the performance, so uh, I will most certainly be coming to yours tonight. Oh, absolutely. I, I can't wait to see you there. Uh, by the way, uh, do I look like a girl to you? Can I can I hear from out no, here? No, 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 no. You're obviously a man, prettiest man I've ever seen. That's... <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> man, did you get he the shield? So lucky. I got. If the I was just ten shield. years younger. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, God. time to make knives. <laughs> Uh, let's go meet. Let's go to the fucking inn. I agree. Let's oh, actually, go. should we practice more? Do you want to practice more? Yeah, like, maybe we should. Like off, like off screen. Like, can we be okay. practicing? Yeah. Okay. So you practice on your way to the inn. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. For me. <laughs> oh my God. Just throwing fireballs yeah. in the air, making posters and signs, and he's just dissipating them in the air. I guess. All right. Maybe I should buy a dress. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. maybe you should. It's good for you. <laughs> All right, you guys are going the, We're going the, wrong, the way. wrong way. Yeah, you're going the wrong way because everybody said east, but it's actually the west. Oh. Yeah. Okay, let's... <laughs> They're stupid Do we friends. know that? <laughs> Eventually, you'll find your way. Lots I misspoke, of, actually. That's a lot that, of was my, that was my mistake. I misspoke when I said east. Okay. <laughs> All right, so you'll be arriving at the Fire Flower after the next rotation. So I'll put you guys over here. Okay. Okay. Next is Raber and them. Where is Raber? Oh and God. All right. Everyone's and... got their own retarded Bloop. shit going on right now. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so you guys get up. Oh, plus ten gold. Thank you, stream. Hmm. Um. Basically, you just finished talking to this guy, and now you guys are going to go to the jailhouse. Oh, okay. Oh, we're doing that part? Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> uh, Master Orc. Uh, yeah. Perhaps we shall go find this contact who was imprisoned for uh, promiscuity, as it were. Uh, you, you want to uh, go prison? Well, we won't be staying there, but perhaps we can go talk to our new friend. Uh, okay, you want Raber, uh, get arrested? Probably not. Not yet. Uh, uh, Just come with okay. her. Okay. Come with who? Her. Who? who? She. Who is she? He looks around. <laughs> here we She's go. The, she is the only one here. Raver looks to the left and right. Wisp does also. She she stomps up and takes his hand. Come along. Uh, Forget okay. about it. Raver kind of thinks, weird. Raver thinks Wisp is crazy. <laughs> oh, oh, look. He points over there. Flame mm -hmm. Rat and Horn Girl. Flame Rat. Oh, right. th this is most fortuitous. We can pick them up for our journey. All right, as you come out the corner, uh, out, out of the out of the inn, you will see these two. Uh, these two are practicing throwing fire at each other. Ah, <laughs> uh, esteemed nobleman and oh, and Tiefling, what, what, boy, what, what what are you doing? Ah, uh, perfect. Now you guys can start practicing too. We have a show tonight. <laughs> we. we uh, a oh, show. Uh, Raber and uh, Whips. Uh, we uh, did show <laughs> inside. <was> a wisp. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, we that's did good. show. Well, you see. Uh, Raber got shinies. Shows oh. 10 gold. Well, that's and perfect. And the orc threw me into a ceiling. Her into a ceiling. 
Oh, oh yeah. That's real rare. funny. Did everyone love it and laugh? <laughs> yeah. She did not love it as much as the others. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Listen, but it, we it are now. Well. Listen, because of your words at the dock, we are truly the unwise sick circus now. There's flyers and everything. It's all legit. Uh, I, what, uh, oh, Sorry, okay. <laughs> well, she, she has found our point of contact, but uh, she is afraid they've been imprisoned. Imprisoned, hmm? O'Brien? Yes. I forgot. Do we have time to gather the other two? Know you, wh know you where they went? I, I have no idea where they are. We've been performing Hello. all day. <laughs> hmm. <coughs> well, where would two scary people in armor go? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe a dark cave. <laughs> well, let us look for the dankest place in town, and we shall find them. Well, and then we shall go to the jail before our performance. Truthfully, Wisp. Wouldn't you think that people would see them? We could just ask someone and they are probably being talked about. <laughs> ah, that is most wise, Master Nobleman. Yes. They do stand out. Let's ask someone. We shall, go ask, we shall go ask someone to find the angriest man. How are we supposed <laughs> to be low profile? Well, um, or we could follow the trail of corpses of chairs. Listen. And we will find him. The lowest profile <laughs> is the highest profile. No one would think to suspect us of anything. <laughs> What the fuck does that mean? Ah, <laughs> uh, I see uh, your feeble mind can't comprehend what I've just said. <laughs> we shall start at the docks and ask some people. Uh, it's a good idea, Wisp. What I do for a uh, circus? What did y'all do? You're going there? to, you're going to crush things. I pick up girl. Okay, that's that's really good. You go ahead and pick oh, pick this up. This is girl. what you'll do, Raver. You're going to juggle Flame Wrath while he juggles his own fire. Uh, no, no, no. You're not going to pick me up. Stop. Stay back. For... Stop. <laughs> Raver picks up Flame ah! Wrath. <laughs> I've... Stop. Put me down. Put me down now. Boy, you will never get intercourse again. P put me Raver down now. Put him down. <laughs> It you? looks like you don't want to win the fucking... I mean, I mean, looks like you don't want to provide a good show. It looks like you're a fucking buffoon. Yeah. No. Ah. That last act, you were the fucking loser. I am always the winner. The loser? Shut up, fool. We need to go ask people and find the others. We're wasting time. Come. Th that we uh, do. Okay. Can we look for someone random that it, along the path where we think they went in the docks? Okay, where are you? Okay, so... <laughs> what are you trying to... What are you, what are you doing? Right, so we're going to go back to the dock area, and we are going to try to follow the path of destruction slash notice that two men in huge armor would have caused and ask people where they went. I mean... All right. Is that what you like? to find? <laughs> okay. You ask around if anybody's seen uh, any two dudes in, in armor. And you get a lot of false positives. Oh, yes, I've seen many people in armor. The paladins are always... So there's lots of people in armor. Ah, uh, uh, one that looks very angry with a, a shorter gentleman. Well, that doesn't actually narrow it down that much either. But eventually, you do hear that somebody... Actually, you do actually meet somebody who is able to answer that for you. While you're traveling down oh, in no. this direction, <laughs> the emo guy. you see this guy approach you. Oh, Yay. Yeah, I love Yay. this guy's back. <laughs> Hello. Have you seen um two armored people, one towering high and one extremely low to the ground? Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, could you help us find them? All right. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Uh, that's really well, that, that, that's great. That was easy. <laughs> he just starts walking. Okay. <laughs> All right. He'll uh, he'll just turn around and just beckon for you to follow him. Have what you mean? heard of our circus? What is it called? The Unwise Six. No. Maybe you should look at some flyers on the wall. And as I say it, I like make another one on the wall and like point towards it. Like, dude, come on, it's right there. <laughs> he'll, uh, he'll pick it up. He'll look at it. 
look at you, look back at it. Nice. Keep going. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, did, did you have a pleasant conversation with our uh, our allies? Yeah. Uh, oh. Uh, what? <laughs> hey, tell. What did you talk about? Things. <laughs> she slow wisp slowly nods. <laughs> it reminds me of how I talk sometimes. <laughs> uh, a, a man of few words, as it were. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly, he doesn't want to talk to you. Maybe you should shut up. You never know, Tiefling boy. There's an opportunity around every corner. This guy walked us a mile and didn't say more than five words. They're in here. Well, thank you. I appreciate your help out of for nothing. Wisp uh, steps up to him and kind of takes on his same demeanor. And she has some gold. <laughs> <laughs> she smiles. <laughs> Sure. I'm going to give you two gold. Bam! Easy. Wow. <laughs> she has. She takes the two uh, coins between her fingertips. I want to. I want to scoff at a measly two gold and call him poor before I walk in. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Only two gold, fool. Are you something like poor? No. <laughs> She's just not worth very much. No. Okay, I, I could respect that. I walk in. <laughs> I'm sorry. My friends are stupid. It's gay. <laughs> uh, Raver awkwardly waves at this guy and just walks in. <laughs> oh, we, we found... Uh, we found <laughs> Anyways, <it>. thanks. <laughs> NP. What? <laughs> Do they have acronyms in this world? <laughs> He does. What does that mean? <laughs> oh, it's uh, no problem. What's no problem? It means no worries. For what? It means uh, such an action did not cause me due distress, so you're welcome. Do you like helping people? <laughs> yeah. This become an interrogation. Do you think my tongue is cool and I stick out my tongue? <laughs> Dank. <laughs> All right, goodbye. <laughs> Hello. Uh, How did you find us? We, right. we met a, a man. Alexander of... was going to lean against this wall and be really cool. Okay. Uh, we met perhaps the coolest person in the city, and he directed us your way. Oh, Do we well, see him? Cool. No, you're upstairs. Where where is the angry one? <laughs> angry one just left. In the, in the back in the background. <laughs> but did he Oh you're another... so strong, Jerry! <laughs> he volunteered to do the dishes for the old lady here. <laughs> did he throw another chair? No, he's doing the opposite of destroying woodwork, in fact. Dishes Impressive. is slave work. It suits him. <laughs> Do I hear that? <laughs> wow. I, I, I don't think you did. You've got an old lady helping you, and you're banging a hammer. I'm just making sure, you know? <laughs> just making sure. Uh, Anyways. It, it is it is most good we've met your acquaintance, Master Inquisitor. We have found our quarry. Uh, Where is he, then? Well... Ah, uh, that's the trouble, you see. He is in prison. In prison? Truly. That's not all we have to worry about. I don't know what you're going to do in your act tonight, boy. Oh, that's the other thing. These two have created a circus while we were, while we were away. Uh, we, we created a fucking circus. We? Yes. So, you're the one that created the fucking circus. You're There's... advertising it. You're the marketing department. I, d I only lied to the god. That I'm the end simply of it. bolstering your <laughs> lie, woman. You expect me to perform in a circus? Yes. Now, what is your talent? 
I, w I was trained from birth as a child soldier to undo the damage that devout of Astaroth have done to Krasix. I have been born to punish them, and every waking moment I dream of the opportunity I will have to skin them in their sleep. Maybe you could do limbo, because you're short. <laughs> I was tortured, and I still have a sense of humor. Oh, yeah, speaking of which, I suppose I could do the insult comic thing. Well, fair enough. She has lost everything. No more than a broken toy. But she can dance with swords. Yes. Yeah. Maybe you could get juggled by this orc or, again, beat everyone at limbo. Finally, Nidhogg finishes his task. Thank you so much, Jerry. Now the rain will no longer be a problem. I'll kneel down as much as I can to kind of try and get close to head level with her. She no longer is afraid of you, for she sees the pure heart within. <laughs> <laughs> can you help me with something? What's that, dearie? Do you know of a person named O'Brien? Oh, yes, I know O'Brien. He used to sleep here often. I'm afraid that he's been jailed. For, you know, she'll lean in. And she blushes a little. Promiscuity. I see. Thank you. <laughs> she'll stand on the side. And she'll start dancing happily under her new roof. Oh, yes. By I the way, that. evil alignment. That was a decidedly good act. Don't worry, not a major one. You're still edgy. Of course. Uh, Angorn will inform the newcomers. Be kind to the old woman. We've butted her up a bit. Don't say that. He'll think he'll rave a thing to eat her. Do not eat her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Nidhogg, we, uh, we found, or Wisp seems to have found O'Brien. He's in jail for promiscuity. I know. Listen, we have bigger things on our hands. We have a fucking carnival to fucking go to tonight. What is your talent, True. Nidhogg? I'm doing nothing of the sorts. <laughs> are you trolling? We are the unwise six. I've been promoting I am not it. a troll. <laughs> we all have to participate. I have been putting flyers up. Okay, how about I throw you at targets? No, no, no. Throw. Deal. Well, no, no, I already have a talent. You need to come up with your own. How about you throw a chair? Why? Because it's something you're good at. Also, uh, we, we might have... I can be good at other things, too, like throwing you. Not me. Well, we might have prepped the audience that you were quite the chair thrower. It's true. Oh, who have you told that? Oh, you know, this and that. Listen, we have our acts. Me and Flame Rat will be making a pyrokinetic thing. Raybar and Wisp will be doing some sort of juggling. Can I just Angorn collect is a fees? comic. Now, what are you going are to do? Are we doing this for free? We what? are doing it for... They will pay us handsomely. We are taking over a tavern for the event. There's that. So we have no entrance fees. We just have drunkards come in and we guess if they pay us or not. Well, she and she and the master orc have already performed, and they were more than willing to pay us. It was right. sort of a mini test performance, if you will. I'm not performing. <laughs> well, can you throw, throw a chair? <laughs> yes, just throw a chair, and it'll be perfectly in character. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just I'll get mad and say I'm not performing, and then throw a chair, and everyone will laugh because it's ironic. You will uh, visibly see Nidhogg about to be getting pissed off. <laughs> I could dye your armor pink. Now, now listen, if we are going to be successful in this land, we must make a little bit of gold, make a little bit of a reputation. There's and other ways to make gold than making fools of yourself. But it will bolster our lie that we are the unwise six, a circus, and we a are- A lie good. you created! What do you suggest, Wisp, manual Wisp labor? Created. It's no longer a lie if we fulfill it. Uh, Why must hello? I be a part? You all seem to have a uh, interest in doing this. What are you doing? Uh, what, what's uh, what, she's what? serving? She's serving all of you food and drink. Oh, 
thank you kindly. And you see that she will pat Nidhogg on the back. I got a little extra for you, dearie. Hey, Donnie, so Donnie, come back here. Or and old then woman. Will, I don't know her name. Pat and Gorn on, on the back. Thank you so much. And Can you Gorn come back here? Now, you seem to be... Gorn stares straight ahead, ignoring the kindness. <laughs> Can you, can you, um, you seem to be quite fond of this Nidhogg boy. Tell me, what kind of talents do you think he might have? Oh, he's just the kindest soul. <laughs> I'm sure he has all kinds of talents locked away inside of those beautiful <laughs> crimson eyes. Would you, would you pay to see him cuddle with puppies? <laughs> oh, I would, I would have to pay for that. I would love to see that. Yeah, you would pay for that, wouldn't you? Nidhogg, how do you feel about cuddling with puppies? I will uh, give Flamerath a death stare <laughs> without Donnie seeing it. Hmm. He's such a kind boy. Yes, maybe your kindness could be your talent, Nidhogg. You're such a kind boy. I will uh, motion... Like, I will motion my arm going towards Flamerath's neck, but also, like, jittering it as if I'm trying to stop myself. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Literally shaking with we, choking and tears. Nidhogg, we have to do this. They don't trust us. You saw that man on the dock. You know this must be done, right? What, we they? already learned about him. He's worthless. He is What's actually his? worthless. He's an underling of some sort trying to suck some, uh, <clears throat> trying to suck up to the Inquisition in order to join their ranks. How about that... this? Nidhogg can collect entrance fees. But then we need a six. Fair enough. How about that guy that helped us get here as our six? We are the unwise six, after all. That wouldn't oh. make any fucking sense, would it? See if he wants to join the circus, then. He can be our manager. We're he doing this. He didn't want to hang out with me and Angorn. Ha have you fools forgot why we're doing this in the first place? No. We're, we're not a real fucking <laughs> circus. Keep your, keep your, keep your, keep your, keep your to be very inclined on doing down. it. We're not a real well, fucking circus, you know. We're doing this because the fucking guard at the gate didn't believe us. Did you so we're trying to make it believable. Did you see how popular we are? We're out there, Vim. We're Remember, so popular. It's, it feels so good. I want to be part of the circus. Remember, gentlemen, even though that guard may not be of consequence, his compatriots are. If he believes our story, it shall be advantageous to us in the future. Yes. Thank you, Wisp. But... We're just doing this thing once, you understand? Yeah, yeah, only once. So, are we to go to the jails now, or shall we do the performance first? Uh, well, we have a performance already. It... The performance is tonight. We have some time. I don't think they'd let us see O'Brien. Uh, I, mean, I was told they were visiting hours. Yes, but... If we're going to convince this fellow that we're not uh, unsavory, perhaps visiting a criminal in jail isn't the way to do it. Uh, Raver have an idea. Oh, she looks over. What if uh, O'Brien become sixth member? Yeah. No, you're not listening. We're not a real circus. No, what 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 the ma what Master Orc suggests is viable. We simply go and say. Oh, our sixth member was imprisoned, and we bail him out. What? What don't you understand about keeping a low fucking profile? Wait, maybe we can convince people to set him free early, and in, in order for our performance. Yeah. What is wrong with you two? But it could work if if people listen. If we go into the courtyard and we do a good enough performance and say we can't do our full act unless we have our sixth member, then maybe they'll free him and say he can come out for the day, and then. After the performance, we make our leave. He is known in this town. He's yes, he, in jail. We are trying to be low profile. He is known as a silly figure, promiscuous. He would fit in very well with our silly troop here. What he's saying is we've not been seen before and O'Brien has lived here for some time. How would he have been a member of our circus to begin with? Uh, Do we know he's lived here for a long time? Oh my god, you are born from a... <laughs> I went to school, you didn't. Be careful to choose your words carefully. <laughs> oh my god. We do the performance first. We use the clout we gain from the performance to see him in jail once our names have been 
cleared. That sounds good to her. So are we doing the circus? We are doing the circus. Yay! This is unbelievably yes. fucking stupid. <laughs> okay. Give me a moment while I prepare a clout side quest. <laughs> uh, we're doing this at night, right? Yeah. I guess. I'd want to do something by myself at night before I do that, if that's possible. All right. So, well, where would you like to perform the circus? We're going to go to the yeah. Fire Flower Tavern, right? Yep. Okay. Yes. Well, you should probably maybe get I, permission uh, to do that first. Yeah. yeah. Get a cut. Tell him he can get a cut per the proceedings, All right. and I'll get as the you, cut uh, at the door. As you come outside uh, together, you will see that um, Alexander is leaning against the wall, and he's currently smoking a cigarette. Oh. <laughs> I smoke too. I like that you smoke. I'm gonna get away from him. Can I get a drag? He'll look up at you, and he'll kind of yeah. He reach into his pocket. He'll pull out another one and hand it to you. Flame. Oh yes, and I really like t trying to impress him. Kind of casually light his on fire. Ah um, uh, yeah. The snap of the thumb. Yeah, just kind of snap my finger and light his cigarette on fire in like a really cool way. Yeah, Alexander will see that and say, "Nice." <laughs> take a small drag. Alexander, I blow. I take a drag. Well. <laughs> he'll look over at you and he'll kind of squint a little bit. You got a mouth? Yes. <laughs> he'll he'll kind of shrug. And he'll. Pull out another one and hand it towards you. Raber Ray sees everyone smoking and is easily influenced. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what what smoking uh, do? It makes you look cool. <laughs> it's like food. Raber like... can have smoke smoker. Alexander will reach into his pocket and realize he's out of he's out of drags, and he'll kind of say he'll kind of look at his own. He'll nod and hand it to you. Ooh. <laughs> Will okay. you light mine? I, I, oh. Again, in a really cool way, I light your thingamajig. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander will pat you on the back there. Let it out, bro. Why do you do this? Be careful, Rebbe. <laughs> You're not supposed to eat it. <laughs> Angorn puts the cigarette into the nose slot and lifts his head up as much as he can and, like, tries to inhale it through his nose. <laughs> you see a little bit of smoke come out and then... So, listen. Nice. What was your name again? Alexander Knight. Alexander, I am Flame Wrath. You see, we're part of the Unwise Six, a circus I told you about, but we need... Another member, maybe a manager of some sort? Hmm. Would that interest you? I've got a lot ah. of stuff to do, but maybe for a night. Just a night by the flame fire tavern. I just remember it has fire in it. Uh, f flower. Flower. Flame flower. Yeah, I know. Yes, we were going to head there hmm. and... See if we could get permission. I'm sure they'll allow us. Our name is quite well known. When? I don't know, Tonight. team. Tonight. I might stop by. He'll off lean the, the building. See ya. Catch it later. <laughs> what yeah. Is that? Just See you. Show up. I kick Flame Wrath in his knee. <laughs> Ow! Why? Why are you? Why are you doing this? Because he's cool. Do you want to die? He's. Do you cool. want to die? I don't cool. want to die. He's cool. I want to hang out. If with you him. want to die, do it on your own time. Stop fucking with me. I had a lot of friends in school. You didn't even go to school. I. I. <laughs> I have a lot of. Friends. I recognize cool people. You don't. You are the most uncool person I've ever met. Did you, you fucking fool? You're stupid. You see the way I lit your cigarette? I did that for you, and I looked cool. <laughs> Listen to me. We are here, and I look around and say quietly, <laughs> we're on a fucking mission. You remember this, right? Yes, I do. 
Lower your fucking voice. Okay. Raber Stop. think you're both cool. St Thank you, Raber. I appreciate Thanks. it. <laughs> Raber, listen. Stop making this harder for us. Or I'm going to stab you in your fucking neck. I am not making it harder. I am helping us. You're going to tell me this we, isn't going to help. We do not need permanent fucking members of a fake fucking circus. Do you understand, you stupid fuck? Don't Here's swear to me. Us for the night. Oh my god, I'm going to fucking freak out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's make our way to the flame flower. You have more cigarette? Angorn's still trying to smoke his through his nose. And then, like after after about half and only like two good hits, he gives the rest of it to Raber. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <coughs> don't don't get too attached to those master orc. They're quite addicting. <laughs> Raber like cigarette. Very cool, Raber. Very cool. <laughs> very cool. Raber cool. You're very cool, Raber. Now. We should make our way to the flame flower and ask for permission. You think orcs will like Raber if Raber smoke cigarette? No. <laughs> Maybe like not orc. More. But we okay. like you. The smoke is like smoke that rises from a forge. He nods approvingly at Raber. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's. I guess we start heading there now. Yeah, what time right. is it right now? Are you just gonna are we gonna fast forward? It's probably gonna fast forward. Nice. At least until Nidhogg's thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, hold yeah. On. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, I'll gather you guys up so you don't get lost. This is a big place. I want to go to the graveyard at night. Oh god. Okay. All right. Well, let me. Dramatic. <laughs> Dramatic. Wow. <laughs> All right. Let's let me put you guys over here at the fire flower, and we'll take Nidhogg to the graveyard. All right. Unfortunately, I can't make it night or else we lose a shit ton of performance and no everything problem. moves slow. So you'll just have to pretend that it's night. All right. As the sun sets, the city becomes lit with some uh, with white lanterns that can be found throughout throughout the city. So even though it is night, it's still fairly bright. As you walk up towards the gates, you can see that they are closed, but they are not locked. Oh. Uh... Would I think that it would be like illegal per se to like enter a graveyard at night? Like, no. Yeah. Not to like, enter one. Well, of course. Wouldn't do anything bad. Smile. And then uh, I'll look for the most like non-lit kind of spot that wouldn't be seen by the windows or anything. Okay. You've, there's plenty of dark places in the cemetery. Mm-hmm. But where would you think would be the best spot? Probably like right here. Okay. And then I'll kind of sit down on my knees, put my halberd down. Fuck, I still have the tavern music on. I need to turn that off. Sit down on my knees, put my hands on my lap with my halberd down, and I'll close my eyes. Okay. And I'll start to try and like feel the life forces around me. And I'll remember vividly when my wife's soul was taken from her and the aspect of how it was formed and what it looked like. And I'll try and feel like a beggar's soul or a thief's soul, someone that no one's really cared about, and try and see if I can sense that in the air. All right, make me a... Let's go with a religion check. Okay. <laughs> of course. Damn. All right. One moment, please. It's literally written in the cards. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. That means you would. Oh, and I have to check the graves you're next to. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh no. <laughs> a 20 and 201. Who would have oh, thought? Oh no. <laughs> I instantly die. So, Shriver, you're doing a religion check, and what's Arcadum doing? Rolling for <laughs> we what? We don't know yet. Oh. He's rolling to determine what happens, and a 1 and a D100 is always really fucking bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, usually. <laughs> it's the worst case scenario. Wait, Arcadum just rolled a 1 out of 100? Yeah. Yeah, and oh. I rolled a nat 20, so. Okay. Huh. Huh. <laughs> hmm. We'll see how things go. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Uh Let's do it, he says. Help. I'm ready. Like I said, if I somehow see a violet soul, I'm eating it. Well, enjoy dying. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy being erased from existence. <laughs> Let's go! Mm. Unless I somehow weird have some have like weird refraction business where then I start to understand what Violet is as Nidhogg. Then... Yeah. No, I understand doing it from his perspective because he has no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I respect the the desire to suicide all of your characters. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's doing the, what is it, gachi plus emote with unwise five. <laughs> Insinuating that we just I'm lost dead. a member. Yeah. Hold on, I'm loading. Oh, no problem. I have to pull across the fucking cosmos right now. What? <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> You're gonna, you're gonna get Taladon's great grandson or some shit. <laughs> I'm just fucking eat that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, you fucking idiot. <laughs> this is my character, bro. This is what I live for. <laughs> should do this doing our circus as your talent. Just die in front of everyone. <laughs> Alright, here we go. As you, as you meditate in the midst of this, uh, in the midst of the graveyard, um, for some reason, whether it be from some hidden power that you have yet to really notice through the once divinity that flowed through you when you once served the light, you feel a connection thrumming to the soil, to the grave-bound earth. But this presence is no god, no spirit but something else entirely. Hmm. Damn, boy. Wait a minute. What it... brings you into this place, huh? It's Crowley. Who is this I speak to? Hmm. Just a wayward traveler, not unlike yourself. Well, let me ask you something. I can feel that your heart's all broken and lost. You're looking for something that was taken from you. Maybe I could be of some assistance. And how would you help me? Well, you see, boy, I can feel the disdain towards the gods that float through your mind. But I can tell you that I'm no god. I'm just a gambler. The Gambler Black. 
And what do you gamble in? I gamble in many different things, boy. That depends. How much do you want to roll the die? Do you know what I want to roll for? What is it that you seek, boy? Souls. <laughs> Easy enough. It just so happens that I recently came into a windfall. Servants are pretty useful. I might be able to make such an arrangement. But you'll have to do something for me first. What is that? A little bit of promise. A little bit of poise. A little bit of luck. With that, a black die, six-sided, will appear before you. Right on the ground. And he will say, All you gotta do is roll that there die whenever you find yourself in front of the holy continents. And do this. And I will help you find that which you seek. Do I know what the holy consonants is? He's referring to holy places. Ah, okay. Do you, what happens when I roll this dice in this place? Well, you see, boy, fate is a fickle thing, and I am one of its servants. Roll the die, well, that will determine its fate. A fate unbound by the predetermination of this damnable matron of fate. <laughs> so, let me ask you this, boy. Do you want to unravel the tapestry? Do you want to take a chance? A what? Hmm. If it gives me souls and I can destroy the gods, then yes. Well, well, boy. Then pick it up. But first, how do I know you will give me what I want? Do you have a taste of what's to come? Oh, you're looking for a sample. All right. I suppose that's fair. After all, how would you know that I'm even straightforward? You gotta have a little bit of skin in the game. That's all right. I'll give you a little skin then. One of the gravestones will shatter, mm. and a soul will float in front of the die. You pick up that die, and that soul is yours, boy. I'll pick up the die. <laughs> I hope you're ready. All right, and there is a flash of black light as you take up the die. The soul will immediately surge directly into your armor. You can feel your heartbeat quicken. You can feel your strength grow. And then, as you how hold the die, you see this individual appear before you. Welcome to the family, boy. <laughs> Let's hope this is a good joint adventure. Let's hope that it is. Now, this and well, I have not many servants that yet still walk this plane of existence, but you will join them. One of them is currently in Krasix. Now, the course of your journey I may call upon you to aid one another. That is the second condition that I have. Well, if we're going on conditions, then I'd like a peripheral of souls whenever available to help aid me in this journey, in this adventure we're on. You'll get your souls, boy, as long as you keep rolling and die. Nothing's guaranteed promises of fickle things and I am no Babylon they but really I... are <laughs> indeed good luck boy I wish you all the best 
Damn, he's cool. <laughs> well, shit. Oh, I have his theme, by the way. Oh, I want. I forgot to play it. My bad. I was too busy trying to grab that token. Oh no, Wilson in the graveyard ambience. It's just wind blowing. This is his uh his theme. Let's hear it. Linky, Linky. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's. There you go. All right, there you go. Now you've got a black die, and now you have a method of soul absorption. As you absorb, as you have absorbed your first soul. Uh, there's a couple of things. Now, that is a committing of a prime evil. Mm -hmm. That's number one. So now you're full on into the fucking the drink, as it were. To be expected. Uh, the next thing that you need to understand is that now that you have consumed a soul, that means now you will have a soul, uh, a soul resource that I'll be keeping track as you go along. You'll be able to use these souls to do different things like enchant armor weapons, use special abilities, and eventually transform into an actual soul eater, which is a prestige class. Well, however, go. however, and this is something important to keep in mind, eating a soul is a powerful mortal sin and it will not be washed from your body. There will be certain individuals that can detect the sin that you have done, and it is not something you can hide. Mm -hmm. So I would suggest that you are on the lookout for such individuals, because that sin is palpable. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, God. Welcome to the show. <laughs> I'm ready for this. All right, go on. As you were. All right. <laughs> I'll make my way. I'll make my way back to the inn because I did what I wanted to do. You bastard! <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. It was quite Nat cool. 20, Nat twenty into a nap. Oh, the voice came through okay because I was like reading that on the it, fly. It was it was nice. Okay. Good. Very nice. All right, there you go. Let's go and get you back to the others now. Yes, sir. And here we are. Is this the uh, tavern? Oh, this is the fire flower. I'm going to assume the fire flower is the big one over there. Yeah. That's where you guys are right here. You guys see it? Yeah, yeah I'm here. Uh, Man. Excellent. Out of all the rolls. That's <sighs> wild. Yeah, so... Someone said, now you can fortify the roof even more with your soul. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind Nid of... Nidhog, soul-eating carpenter. I'm kind of becoming like fucking white from fucking uh, Tower of God. Tower of God? Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. It's a, it's a Korean anime slash webtoon. I forget what they call oh. it. You're called web... web Right, so we're here at the tavern now, and is it like nighttime-ish? Yep, it's nighttime. Okay. Oh God. All right, all right. Listen, we can't fuck this up. So what, what's the scene here? Are we talking when Nidhog walks up? Yeah, basically. <laughs> okay. Do I notice anything different about him when he walks up? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You notice that he is surging with strength. More than he had before. All right, Angorn will nod at him, but he won't say anything. I'll nod back. <laughs> right, Vem, you were saying? No, we need to get our shit together, okay? Now, how are we going to lead off? Should we lead off with the comedy, or should we leave off 
with. I feel like we should do the pyrokinetics last, so we Shouldn't can make a big fire dragon. Ask yes. the bartender if we can actually do it here. Right. Oh, right. Oh. That too. <laughs> okay. Let Let us head in then. Ah. Uh. We did the performance before, so let her ask the bartender. Let us do it. All right. As uh, the entirety of you starts walking in, somebody will say, look, it's the unwise. Oh. <laughs> Where my, my flyers are working. <laughs> Thy reputation precedes thee. Oh, we're famous. All right, fuck. What? Nah. Who All right. Who are with it? All right, as you, uh, as you walk up, you will see that at this point, a very sour, heavily scarred-looking halfling woman will walk down. She is in the uh, mid... Uh, she's in her midlife, and she carries herself as someone who doesn't take any shit from anyone. She comes walking up. So! You the lot I've been hearing about then? Hmm? Uh, it's true. So you've heard uh, yeah. of us. All right, I've heard that you're apparently going to be uh, performing in my tavern. So here's a bit of starting, a little bit of a weird kind of contest. Um, I don't know if I know who the fuck you are, and you haven't asked me to perform at my tavern. So give me one good reason why I shouldn't throw your asses out on the street. Because we shall give thee a cut. Yeah, all right. And how much do you think that you're worth? Well, the entire tavern, if you see the master orc over there, earlier today, threw gold at us with just two of us. Imagine six of us. Yeah, and how much did you make? Ah, uh, well, quite a <laughs> quite a good sum, as it were. Yeah, how much? Ten gold. Uh, Ten gold. The fourth wall didn't tell yeah. us. Ten uh, gold. Listen, lady, we've had quite the advertising spree about town. The cavern will be certainly packed. We take a cut at the door. We give you a percentage of that. Thanks to me. Listen. He'll nod at Flame Wrath. The money is secondary may i ask you a question what do you want lady <laughs> i'm a guy second <laughs> look around this tavern this town is filled with gloom and doom we're just here to raise the spirits of people we want people to be happy and that will be good for your tavern will it not i make a persuasion check then we just want people to be happy. Look at that, Look at that face. Don't fuck this up, Vim. I, I've never fucked up, you dumb motherfucker. You die every time we get in any combat. Wait, you say that persuasion? Yeah. Yeah, watch this, you stupid bitch. <laughs> oh! Oh! God. Okay, 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 you're all done. God damn, I'm good! <laughs> damn. All right. <laughs> Just, adjusts glasses. Wow. All right. Well, with that. She will soften a little bit and will say, All right, next time you should probably ask first, but it would raise the spirits of the people. All right. Fine. Uh, we should at least introduce one another. My name is Tanny Tomtaps. At your service. <laughs> Angor laughs. Rainbow. <laughs> he goes, <laughs> <laughs> I, I turn around and give him a death stare. <laughs> Angor clears his throat. He goes, <clears throat> Oh, well, my name is Vim. This is my darling friend, Wisp. Hello. Uh, back there is our short friend, Angor. He's a comedian. He was just laughing at one of his jokes he was thinking of. <laughs> uh, to the back here is our friend, Raver. Uh, to his left is uh, hey. my partner in crime, Flame Wrath. But we don't do any crime. The, yes, <laughs> and over there in the corner is the our, he he throws chairs. I don't have a name. <laughs> Nidhog. <laughs> well, all right. Uh, sh fine. I'll give you an hour tonight. Excellent. I'll clear out this this room, I suppose. Oh, Thank also, you. Sir Charles is a hundred gold. You either make it or you don't. I'm getting paid either way. Food free. Very well. All right. Come okay. sit. Right. Okay. 
It seems we need to make a lot of money from this. Nidhogg, would you like to charge people money? That was the whole point. Good. I just want to make sure you're excited to do it. <laughs> Listen, what's important here is we find out who does what and who goes at what. Like I said, I think we saved the paramedics for last. Yes. Uh, I'll go first. Angorn will go first. He'll lead us off. Five how, maybe Wisp and Rhaegor go off first. Yes. Uh, okay. I think if we he... open with a dance and then we introduce the comedian. Listen, I agree with I'm that. going to be honest with you. I'm not very funny. Perhaps we should do the worst thing first and then move on to the thing that no, actually... No, no, no. The worst thing but can't be first. You must create a you must create a first impression that is positive and a last uh, that is positive. Trust me, she has been a performer all of her life. Fine. It's Whatever. the middle they Never shall forget. Just be I funny. have a plan. I have a plan. If your comedy skit doesn't work out. Let us also, at the end of the dance, we can bring in a large stone that Raber can smash. <laughs> That's a good Raber idea. Raber likes smash. Do we have any large stones? We just pick one up from outside. Let's, let's, is there a stone out there? I didn't see one walking in. Are there like rocks around? <laughs> I, not big ass, uncut stones. The streets are clean. Hmm. Uh, However, it, could I make a stone that he boom. breaks? You want Raber go look for stone? Alexander oh, walks Raber. inside. Oh, look who's come? <gasps> Alexander, you showed up. That's very cool hey. of you. Yeah, I keep my word. That's really cool. Hey, do you know where any big rocks are? <laughs> hmm, big rocks, huh? Yeah, big rock that no one cares about. Hmm. Well, uh, there's an old statue outside. But does anyone care about it? No. So they wouldn't care if it was smashed? No. <laughs> You're sure? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Could you do okay? Where? How far is it? I'll go get it. That's so so cool. <laughs> He's so fucking cool. He's always very gonna... strong. He has a stronger handshake than me. How should it, how shall he, he live? Strong. That that man, he looks so emo. As you as you look out the window, he starts dragging a fucking <laughs> statue across <laughs> the marble. He's not emo. He's seen. Does he look <laughs> casual while he's doing this? Yeah. He's just he just. He somehow makes it look like it's not even a big deal. Right. Uh, Emo and scene aren't the same thing. So. You want Raber uh, smash statue? Not yet, Raber. Not oh. yet. Okay. I'm starting to get the feeling this guy is like. Uh, I said it outside. <laughs> wow. Th th thank you kindly. Okay. All right. He'll, uh, he'll grab a chair. He'll swing it back around and prop his legs up. <laughs> Wait. Is he like hanging his legs up here backwards? Yeah. I, I prop my legs up too. Yeah, I want to do the same no. thing. We all just you start copying. No. Like, you, know, <laughs> you know when you sit on your back and your head is like this and the legs are up here? That's what he's doing right now. Yeah. Can Raver attempt to do that in a normal chair? Yes, until it starts snapping because you're fuck huge. Raver does the same. Okay. He wants to fit in. All right, Alexander will very coolly turn his head to the side of Wisp and say, Hey. Ah, uh, good day. So, you guys getting ready? Yeah. Uh, she, she believes so. We're just thinking about who we want to start with, be in the middle with, and end with. That's all. Cool. Have we any suggestions? What? What? God. <laughs> How many loud. people go Who's start? Sorry? Finish strong. Agreed. Okay. There it is. So who's going first? Ah. Uh, Wisp and Raber. Herself and the orc. And then. He shall dance first, and then he shall smash the statue to lead into the next act. Which was is then. Uh, okay. Angorn is going to say funny things. And Vim has a plan if he's not funny, and then Vim right. and I will do our thing. And what of the Crusader? She looks to Nidhogg. I'm He's... getting door entrance fees. Yes. I'm gonna... 
Um, this is you guys right now. <laughs> how many? Oh God, he's so damn cool. Oh God, damn cool. <laughs> how do how, do I notice how many people like how many people would be like entering and exiting during this time we've been in the bar? Uh, dozens. It's actually pretty. It's a pretty big bar. It's a, it's a mm -hmm. pretty successful place. So. Because I'm, I'm thinking, five gold per entrance fee. Good idea. Yes, we have to make back at least a hundred. Okay, so the plan is in order. We know what to do. Nidhog, everyone has their job. We should probably start setting up our stage in the back here. Do you want me to perform too? Well, what can you do? Poetry. <laughs> oh, God. That, yes. That uh, sounds lovely. We could use all the help we can get. I don't know. Oh, he's been very helpful so far and has never let us down. Let's you could move that statue up to the stage when we need it. I say we let him do his poetry. Can, can you give us a taste of your poetry? Yeah. <clears throat> Black night comes, moonrise done. I watched, I saw, I listened. Gee. Crimson blood. Twelve to. Sorry. <laughs> there. Go on. The, the dude did glisten. <laughs> Fucking bigger if maybe left it. Did you say the black knight comes and you watched? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't, you drag, don't you drag that statue to the stage for us later. Now, she, you go ahead. Oh, uh, she'll turn to him and say, "See, look, he's so dark. Isn't it wonderful?" We. We she are loves, the unwise she loves, six dark things and he's so messed up Shelly we must include mm. him in the act if you don't like that you know I also do tap dance <laughs> could you tap dance while doing poetry <laughs> yeah. now that's a combo I say I heard you have in. a strong grip how many push-ups can you do yes What does yes mean? All right, he'll uh, he'll take I, his armor off. I want to duel him in push-ups. Oh, okay. He's gonna start taking off his armor. <laughs> oh my god! Are you stripping? He'll put it over here. He'll strip down his shirt. <laughs> Are you gonna take yours off, Angor? No, but watches he is gonna, he's gonna compete. <laughs> I, I want to compete too. <laughs> Vim All right. All right. Everybody gets I off. take off my I'm robe. Want to do push-ups too. I'm not doing this. Vim Vim <laughs> takes off his robe and puts it on the <laughs> table. I can't let me take off his armor. He'll put it on the table. He is in a fucking handshake and then beat me in fucking push-ups. I gotta. He takes the armor off. He puts it on the table. The table falls over because it's so heavy. Oh my God. He gets onto the ground. His back all glistening. Let's go. <laughs> Watch everyone. Right, what, what do we roll? The unwise six perform push ups. None can do more than us. Behold. <laughs> I, hold on. This this is like required. Like, it's. I... <laughs> All right. This is like. This is literally happening. This scene is literally. All right, I knew exactly. <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, let's go. All right. All right, let's go. All right, everybody, make a strength check. DC ten to start. Yeah, no oh. fucking problem. Baby. How do we do this? Oh god, it's already failed. Oh, he's starting to slow down. You're already taken. You're getting ahead of him. All right, next round, let's go. I don't think Vim. Oh, I will. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I got the 10. <laughs> There's two rounds, two rolls so far? Two rounds, two, two rolls, yep. Oh, God. Oh, no, oh, God. People are starting to fall behind. DC oh. 12, let's Hold go. On. 
You see 12? Oh, oh God! I see no problem, <laughs> baby! Oh, the Vim slips and falls on his face. Ah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Next round, let's go. Aegorn's ah. starting to slow down. His armor makes it hard for him to do push-ups at all. <laughs> and then Hog is just slamming his own armor into the ground, scratching up the floor. <laughs> <laughs> all right, DC 14, let's go. Aegorn slips his ball. <laughs> <laughs> Nidhogg and Raver are still into it. Next round, let's go. Rawr! Hidhog oh. starts comboing. Braver starts to slow down. His belly keeps getting in the way. <gasps> DC 16, the big one. Ooh! Equally matched. <laughs> Ooh! Raber starts to use his stomach, bouncing off of it, and getting back his wind. <laughs> Next round! Oh! oh. Ooh. Nidhogg slips and falls on his face! No! I was All so right. good at this start. Alright, Raber, you and I, the duel of the fates. DC 20! <laughs> oh, shit! No! Oh, oh, Raber! At the same no one time, wins. they both slip and fall on the crown. So... Ugh. Alexander will stand up, glistening with sweat. He will hair flip and his hair corrects itself perfectly <laughs> and then he will say nice <laughs> he will snap his fingers and his ma his armor will magically re-equip itself to him you guys got That's owned quite a trick i call it even <laughs> Vim gets help up. Vim up. i don't need your help <laughs> he helped you anyway I had flipped my hair over and it gets caught in my horse. <laughs> the vibe I get from this guy is like Scott Pilgrim, where someone's like, wow, you don't, you're so cool and you don't even try. He's like, I try very hard, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so it's in. settled God. then. We will have Alexander do push-ups, poetry, and tap dancing. Which act shall yeah. he follow? I say he should be second after... The orc and woman. Yeah, how about we just make him challenge a random person in the crowd to push ups? Oh, actually, I could gather the money. Uh, that's what I'm doing. Oh, okay. Well, I think you should do the tap dancing. You got it. You can challenge also. I like to challenge someone in the crowd for push ups. I like that a lot. Uh, you have two options you challenge someone in the crowd for push ups or you strip down and start dancing. Yeah. Maybe I'll just take my armor off. Mm. People seem to like that. Yeah, why don't you do that? We do indeed. I he wakes out of here. Right. How much longer till we start? You want Raber to take armor off too? I think it's no, up to us Raber, when no. we start. No, <laughs> that that would be traumatizing, Master Hawk. Oh my god. Uh, okay. I'm damn cool. Have one of you run out to the street and tell everyone we'll start in half an hour. I have an idea. <laughs> what is it, Vim? Me and Inflame make more flyers with free degestation or whatever. Can't you make a bunch of floaty, fly things in the air that everyone will look at and you can scream? Listen, okay. Alexander. Take these flyers and go out there shirtless and start giving them out. <laughs> Not bad. Dank. <laughs> he'll take the flyers, he'll unequip his armor, put them here. And then he'll uh, he'll kind of stop for a second. And then he'll take a pail of water and kind of pour it on top of him. There we go. This is our evil campaign. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm honestly surprised at how willing he is to associate with us. Yeah, he's a freak. <laughs> Maybe he's just lonely. Maybe he thinks we're cool. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he thinks we're cool? <laughs> we are cool. Well, he did ask me and Angorn to hang out. Oh, he did, actually. That heck, that happened. <laughs> that, happened. that makes us the coolest here. 
That's which true. He wanted to hang out with you guys, and you said no. That makes us even cooler because we did. denied it. Wait, it does. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he comes back in. You guys are losers. There's a lot of ladies coming. <laughs> I don't That's know if we're like cool. prep himself up to look good. And then he's back to normal. Oh god, they're ready. Right. All right. I'm then let's ready begin the, the show. Door. Wisp, Raver. Uh, okay. Come along, Master Lock. Okay. <laughs> Five gold per entry. Everybody make me performance checks for the evening. Oh. Uh, do oh, I need no. to make a performance check? No, because you're not doing anything. You good. <laughs> a chance to do not fuck this up. I will not fuck it up, I swear. Can we, like, um, can I use, like, bardic inspiration? Is there anything I can do here? You can use bardic inspiration to help those that roll poorly if you'd like Yes, I would like that. Uh, All right. This is a big, important one. You got three uses of it, so. Okay. Um, yeah, I assume the night will be over after this, so. We're, uh, I'm going to help. It looks like, oh, God, everyone needs help. Let me roll also, and then we'll figure this out. I should roll performance for old boy. Okay. Why is um, Moon's rolls so weird? Oof. Oh, I'm typing them manually. I'm not using the buttons. Oh. God, you're elite. <laughs> We're <laughs> fucking trash. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I, I type them manually. Oh. I'm so okay. Cool. I do it so I don't have to update my token. <laughs> That's the only reason. So Arcadium doesn't have to either. Roll the, uh, you go ahead and who are you giving Bardic performances? Or, uh, uh, the yeah. lowest one. So Raver and Angle. And, okay. Yeah. The D6? Yeah. 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 Okay, that looks like everybody's above ten, so that means that this that this circus night was not a failure. Oh, um, granted, yes. granted, it wasn't like innovative, or you know, critics are probably going to be like, "It was a passable performance," but you didn't fuck up, and people there are too drunk anyway to care. And for a brief moment, everyone partied that night for an hour and a half. Even the innkeeper's uh, visage seemed to soften slightly. And it seems that everybody had a good time. Let's see how much money you made. 69 gold. Nice. In addition <laughs> nice. to... Oh, I have to roll his. Uh, okay, so you make a total of 100 and... Yeah, 100, 119 gold pieces. Cash so, flow positive, boys. 19 profit. <laughs> Woo! All right, so you make 19 gold, which you can split amongst yourself because the 100 gold goes to the house. And there you go. So we, That's some ROI. That's but excellent. more importantly, now everybody knows the name of the Unwise Six, <laughs> at least in this area. So I have another reward for you. Whilst going under the guise of the Unwise Six, you have one fame. Oh, Which what is, is a fame? resource? Uh, what is that? Fame, fame or infamy is a resource that can be gained that can actually be used and is tracked in order to do different things. It's basically prestige, but it's stream game version of it. So, there you go. Oh, where do we notate that? Like in a note? Uh, that's something that's something I track. Don't worry about. It. Okay. So yeah, we we got clout. Uh, yes, you do in fact have clout. Oh, Congratulations, you have success. You have unsuccessfully maintained a low profile. <laughs> but in fact you did quite the opposite <laughs> but it would seem that during the course of the night tylos the paladin from the docks did arrive and it would seem now at least to the boast believes you that you are a traveling circus <laughs> yes excellent mission completed kind of so now that you are actually done with that would you like to go to the jailhouse? Would you like to do the actual objective? <laughs> yes. How much more time yes. do we have? Uh, we could finish up with that, and then we'll okay. stop there. All right, to the jailhouse. Be Before I go, I want to say that I need to use the rest. Yeah, I'm going to go uh, in-game. No, in-game. Oh. oh. <laughs> I think well, I, see this. I think Nidhogg is going to go to the friendly gnomes in and, like, 
just rest there because you know he's got to be a little bit more low profile while you guys do the jail stuff all right yeah 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 because she'll uh, she'll house me he just is it he just what do i do does it doesn't matter where i stand at all no you're going to the bathroom that's fine yeah vim just sits down and he is like happy right he mm -hmm. has feelings of happiness he's having fun yeah and he realizes that this is bad <laughs> And <laughs> okay, he starts to think of the 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 creeping death and how or why he took the power and all that. Yeah, he just wants to sit there and try to talk to the creeping death, or not talk to it, but feel its like presence within him, so he knows that the. Have. The feelings of happiness are fleeting, and this isn't what he should be doing. All right. Then we'll focus on the feelings within, and suddenly the, um, the the feelings of happiness and joy will wash away, and instead there is only the hunger left behind. The hunger for ambition, the hunger for a task yet uncompleted. He swears that he sees spiders crawling out of the corner of his eyes, but when he turns to look, they are not there. He just leaves the bathroom and goes, goes back to the group. Raybury, do you join them? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take you guys to the jailhouse there. Uh, as, you, uh, as you leave, you notice that Alexander is surrounded by dozens of women but he will kind of part the sea as he sees you're leaving he'll say what a chat hey good luck hey man you did great out there we made 19 gold yeah you here and give him two gold pieces this is the gold you gave to wisp you got he'll it back he'll give it back to you and he'll say you keep it Wow. I've got plenty of money. He'll lean back in the chair and he'll start smoking another cigarette. I want to. Can I like light it for him? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Consider this a farewell until yet. Uh, oh, it, he's too cool for me and I panic and run out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, uh, cool guy. Yeah. Uh, maybe you give Raper uh, more uh, cigarettes, uh, please. He'll flick you one. Angor nods in approval. <laughs> he's he's like, yeah. Uh, thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> he'll take another long drag and he'll say, "Farewell, cool cats." <laughs> uh, or we just get a title? I, yeah. I'm orc. Orc. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Not a cat. No. Fucking awesome. Very well. May we meet again. Okay. To the jail. I'm going to that one in. Okay. So, Nidhogg does not go because he's been a sinning boy. What does he tell us, though? Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> oh, you mean when I'm, you mean when I'm leaving? Yeah, oh, Nidhogg, okay. where are you going? Away. To do what? Rest. You didn't even perform, you lazy buffoon. I'll ignore him. <laughs> he just walks away. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right, and let me take you guys down to the jailhouse. <laughs> Sorry, I have to load. Ironically, however. The jailhouse happens to be right next to the beggar's rest, so, you know, oh. Nidhogg is actually walking ahead of the party for most of the time before he actually... We just awkwardly up. follow him? Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's actually right there. <laughs> oh, God. We're coming, too. Whoop. All righty. So this is where O'Brien is. <sighs> what? Second. So we were told. 
Oh, fuck, are we gonna do this? Wait, hold on one second. I gotta... Sorry, it's so much shit going on all over the place. You're doing great, Arcadum, don't you worry. Remember where I put it? There he is. So many fucking tokens. And... You guys are right there. Okay. So, as you approach the jailhouse, and you enter through the side entrance here, if you come up to the front, you can see that there is a warden. You can see lots of, of different prisoners that aren't important enough for tokens uh, in there. Like, in the drunk tank, this guy's kind of look, looks like he's he's very sick. Uh, the warden, who is also not important enough for a token, will take a look as you enter, and he'll go like, Oh my gosh, it's the NY6! <laughs> I love you guys last night! <laughs> yes, it is us. <laughs> oh man, can I have your autograph? No. Oh, well, maybe. <laughs> you see, we are here to see a uh, uh, a member of this town long ago. Uh, we were we were in a troop, you see, and it appears he was uh, he's being kept here. Oh, well, who is it that you're trying to see? A man by the name of O'Brien. Oh, O'Brien. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he's over here. There he is. Oh, God. Thank you. And I kind of want to, like, give him an autograph on a piece of paper, but, like, you know, like, burn it, you know? Like, burn the name in. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, super burn cool. on wood and shit. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he'll take that. He'll be so excited. <gasps> From Flame Wrath himself. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. All right. As you come up to the uh, to the doorway here. Well, you right good piss of here we are. Hey there. Benix O'Brien at your service. Let me guess. From your continence and your inability to hide yourselves, you must be who I'm supposed to meet. Well, you've done a fine job of doing so, and that we find you here. Right. I'm not going to be one to talk bad on you, after all. I'm the one that got thrown into the knicker, after all. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, uh, I wasn't supposed to know that... Well, it's a long story of how it got here, and it's not really important. Right. Why are we okay. to see you? Wait, what? Do, what did you ask? Well, I said, why are we here to see you? Why you're, have you brought us I don't know. I don't know what we want from him. You, you know why you're supposed to talk to him. Wait, we do? Yeah, mm. he's your contact. Bro, lock and high. Yeah, but I Take thought he's, like, like, supposed to tell us what's next. Like, we're supposed well, to find him, right? Okay, it's fine. I'll. I'll he'll, he'll, <laughs> Am I dumb? He'll, he'll, oh, no, no, it's fine. Sorry. He'll just. Say, he'll just say. He'll just say. Right. Well, certain things we got to talk about, lads and lass, but I can't do it behind the old eye in here. So if you wouldn't mind finding me the right way out, that'd be real nice. We uh, what? we think we. She has an idea. He's what? gonna go back over to the uh, the jailer. Before before we do that, yeah. um. What did you do precisely? <laughs> All right, fine, I'll tell you the story. So, me and my mates, we was hanging down on the south side docks, right? And then I said to my mate, hey, Johnny, I'm going to go over there and I'm going to get that girl. And he said, you can't handle that girl. That girl's a noble woman. There's no way she'll give you, she'll give you a wickle, a kickle, a kickle. And I was like, no, 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 no. You listen to me right now, Johnny. I'm going to go over there and I'm going to get that bell band and I'm going to get her nice and swooned up. You're going to see her real nice, all right? And then Johnny says to me, you know what? I'll bet you Five gold, you can't fucking do it. Five bob says you can't handle that shit. And I went over there, and I rode up to that noble woman, and I said, I, you, sunshine, can I be your moonlight man? And then she was just like, oh, I love that bitch, Chip Cherry. And then we went off to the side, had a nice wiggity smack smack, and then before you know it, I'm in chains because her father was walking by and called me a wayward rascal. Do we get a note from her father excusing you then? Ah, oh, no, 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 ain't none of that, Chief. He's not gonna have me. He wants to see me hang. But the magistrate was like, you can't hang somebody for fucking your daughter. The magistrate? And he's just... Yeah. It oh. was the magistrate's daughter? Oh, no, no, no. The magistrate said that I couldn't be killed oh. on the house to be smack in the back end of his daughter's hide. Oh, God. So oh. here I am, imprisoned for disturbing the peace. She thinks we can offer the jailer the gold that we made and a premium ticket to the next show, since he is a fan. All right, that sounds good. 
I'll you give it a try. You want to break out someone with evidence to a guard. But why are you, you want Raver so smash bars? Because I'm no. not stupid. But there is no cost in trying this. If it doesn't work, then Raber breaks the bars and we're off. I break. Oh, oh. Not yet. <laughs> Very soon. Are you forgetting the last town? The smaller town? Yes, she forgot. Now let's go. The, the smaller town that we almost got killed. Keep your voice down, Vim. Silence. Almost only counts in horseshoes. Now, where's the jailer? Master you you jailer. can be stupid on your own time, not when it affects me. Oh, hello, Good Wisp. Day. Good day. Did you enjoy our performance? I sure did. Okay. Well, <laughs> we have a special performance coming up at the same tavern. Wait. Really? Yes. And we'd like to give you front row seats. Uh -huh. wings at them. I don't know what that means, but that sounds great. Well, you could uh, even dictate part of the performance. You'd be very, very special indeed. Oh. Oh, thank you so much, but but why? Well, we... That man O'Brien over there, um, is there any way that we could expedite the process of getting him out of here? Oh! Well, you could just pay his bounty. And what, pray tell, is the cost? Five gold. <laughs> uh, uh, Wisp, like, looks up at the ceiling. <laughs> uh, no, uh, no, oh! Still, no friends to pay that for him, hmm? <laughs> I just, I reach into my pocket and I just <laughs> hand him the five gold. Oh, all right. I'll walk over here, unlock the door. <sighs> oh, gosh, I get to go to the show. You, you could have said you had a bounty. You didn't fucking ask me, did you? <laughs> you, you didn't think you could have fucking told us. It you was said, asked why I got in there. I didn't ask what my bounty was. You asked us for a way to get you out. You couldn't have said hey, we'd do you want do you, do you want to know the dark truth or not? All right, let's go. <laughs> right. Fucking woman Master, mouthing it, it, off me. Unbelievable. Master Nobleman. <laughs> yes, Wisp. Uh, burn a word that says ticket into a piece of paper and give it to him. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. I just okay. pick up this piece of toilet paper on the floor and <laughs> burn the word <laughs> golden ticket in it. And I bring it. All right. Oh, the warden is so excited for the ticket that will mean nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and thus the party exits with Benix O'Brien in tow. And that is where I'll call the session. <laughs> that's really how easy it was supposed to be. <laughs> oh, my God. You didn't just that's, try and close it up quicker? It really was that easy. No, that was, it was really five gold. That's all you had to do to pay his bounty. And he was going to tell you that funny story. You guys decided instead to start an international circus. So, you know, <laughs> that's fine. Jesus. At least I'm not plus part of the circus. Plus one fame, though. Plus I'm not one... part of the circus, and that's what matters. Plus one fame. <laughs> technically, <laughs> technically, I don't have plus one fame, right? We could have literally walked here. Oh my god. Yes, all you had to do. Yeah. Oh Wait, man. Does does he have plus one fame? All sure. the all of you guys do when you use the name the unwise six. Mm. I'm not Holy shit! Name. You couldn't have thought of a better name, Vigor. I, dude, I was on the spot. I can't take, like, I, I can't take, like, five minutes to think of a name. First of all, The NY6 is an awesome name. It's like a fucking Western title movie or movie title or some shit. It's awesome. Exactly. Yeah, it's it pretty is metal. Awesome. I like it. We're, we're calling right. ourselves stupid. First bit of fan art. Oh, we're so let's go. Is, is Flame Wrath. Yeah, look at him. Uh, let me open that stream. Hold on. Ah, oh, I look so cool. Like a chibi. Ooh. Yeah, this is Polaris' style. It was really good. This one is Wisp. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> oh, so this is like the art style he goes with. I like that. I like the yeah. different colored eyes. That's cool. Vim. With his chain sword. It's very Fucking nice. Dope. Dang, bam, that's metal. A Ned Dog pencil sketch. Look at that. I like that cape, man. I love it. I love cool. the look. I really like this guy's yeah. art stuff. It's so cool, man. Yeah, this dude. 
that makes actual really cool shit. Flame Wrath! Yes. Oh my god. Wait, I it look would crazy. Be very, it would be very painful for you. <laughs> Ooh. I can't believe that shit came up in conversation. <laughs> I had to force it a little bit. Would be very painful. What are you? An idiot sandwich. <laughs> Raber, it's good stuff. Beautiful. This one's awesome. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, I saw this one like a week ago. <laughs> Vim's battle stance. Oh my god. <laughs> Very fucking funny. <laughs> uh, you ever just beat with a lock and eye? But you have a shield now. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Is this Starcraft? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was. Fetch me another one, one, boy. Oh stuff, my man. god, dude. Fetch wow, me that, another one, boy. That's insane Wait. artwork. That's actually so good. Wait, this is crazy. Yeah. That's awesome. It, it looks really fucking dope. <laughs> Fetch me another one, boy. I like my wine. <laughs> hey, you like your fucking cigar or cigarello? Shut the fuck up. You're just jealous. Oh shit, look at this whip. Okay. Oh my Ooh. god. She looks less dirty in this picture. That is <laughs> bad ass. Look at the runes on her hand. <laughs> she looks less dirty. <laughs> what does Delicious. that mean? <laughs> Finally, some fucking intercourse. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> JG Wentworth. Give me my money. Rager got addicted to nicotine. <laughs> my yeah. money and I need it now. Where's that might money? be that might be problematic. All I'm saying <laughs> is if I need to buy something and it's in my dues and you don't have it, something bad's gonna happen. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I don't want to spend the money. I like having it and feeling rich again. I am obviously the best equipped to handle money. Then why are you poor? <laughs> <laughs> Flame Wrath equals Megumin. Changed my mind. <laughs> I don't get this because I, I don't watch Explosion! This. I'd like oh. to think that when these two split off together, it was like this. <laughs> it's V-I-M, by the way. It, that is true. Oh, no. <laughs> <The> fucking chainsaw! <laughs> what is this? It's our circus. Oh, it's just... Okay. We look so good. Clown. Get this girl a shield. I, the thing is, I it's always it. relevant. When you, when you it's said, always relevant. When you said you had a plan, I expected something more than we're a circus. <laughs> is that just it was either we're a background? circus or we're mercenaries. Yeah. Oh. Hiding behind a lamp. That's, 20, <laughs> that's a 20 hide right there. <laughs> what a lovely couple. Ah. <laughs> uh. All right, as it is Terry the Turret's tradition, it is time for uh, for Soul Calibur characters made from you guys. Uh, nice. First oh, up is Flame Wrath. This guy's really accurate with Soul Calibur. Wait, Wait that's actually super accurate. <laughs> what? How do you he do that? Made, he's made like every single character in Soul Calibur. Mm hmm. Dang. I'm looking sick. Here's Vim. Which is also really accurate. Damn. <laughs> what the fuck? Nice. Fucking Ivy. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hate that character. Yeah. Raver. Wait, Astaroth. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Astaroth's a character in SC. That's honestly what I thought about first when uh, I first oh, started Astaroth. So what now, Nick Hog? <laughs> Why is he taller than me? <laughs> why? Oh, why? Wow. Yeah. Why is? Why is it? I'm the brain. What? I'm the brain. What? <laughs> <laughs> we would both be. We would both be brain. I think. True. <laughs> True. Nice. Did that conversation? Which one? 
w- where you guys first met Alexander was so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> when these cool guys don't want the unwise six, don't want to hang out with these. <laughs> we are cooler for ditching him. Wait, we're so cool. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, so one of those big boy artists coming through with the battle scene of you guys fighting the spirit on the boat. Oh shit. Oh yeah. man, that's sick. Dude, that looks like a League of Legends splash screen. Wait, oh, that looks fuck. crazy. Yeah, that's insane. Am I on the ground? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Cool. Good, bad. God, God good. Fuck God. <laughs> God is good all the time. Jacking off is fun and cool. <laughs> <laughs> Do what you want. God doesn't. God isn't a problem. Be careful you don't get caught on all that edge. That is extremely edgy. God, I love it. Hey, Ron. Hey, Billy. Wait, why oh. am I like that? <laughs> First I fix this roof, then I fix the god. <laughs> <laughs> he gained like a good point and then went and did a mortal sin. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. What is this? My favorite band. I love corn. That's your Corn's your favorite, favorite band? No, they're not my favorite band. Oh. <laughs> an okay. evil campaign featuring a zealot, an eater of souls, a brood, a pompous rich man, a demon everyone thinks is a girl, and is a possessed woman? No, a I circus should... troop campaign. <laughs> Excellent. But we did we did perform well. I mean, we, we've established a pretty convincing cover for ourselves, like, in every situation. Though. Yeah, yeah. Except everyone knows who our, we are now. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Do not fear us! It's like come to, our, <laughs> come to our. Come to our. That's the. I mean, that, otherwise they're gonna think we're angels. Oh, sorry. Well, we're just they're gonna think if we if we we're a bunch of freak looking <gasps> people, right? We got like a giant orc and stuff. So it, like the circus cover is really good, I think. Yeah, yeah, so good. Uh, well, what I meant is none of you I can mess this. up. None of us can mess up like we usually want to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do not fear us. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to be a square map tool of the world of squares. It's all squares. <laughs> well, we knew this was going to happen. Oh, thanks. Hey, you're, yeah, yeah. you're so cute. Hey, yeah. Thank Vim you. Boy. Ugu. Do not Shattered call me clown, a Vim boy. Evil clowns. <laughs> Vim boy. <laughs> <laughs> Just water, please. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Why is no one serving us our food? Yeah, I'm not <laughs> scary. God, I love the cape, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Keeping a low profile, the unwise six making a circus. <laughs> 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 oh, we've got some out of context and it's just <laughs> entertainingness. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't much, but it's honest work. <laughs> There's so many dynamics to this. <laughs> I want to see people juggle. <laughs> Fuck. Adventures in Verum Androgyny. Female OC art, male NPC. Maybe I should buy a dress. <laughs> <laughs> this is bad. Do, do you need anything lifted, ma'am? <laughs> God, he's so hot and helpful. God, I am. <laughs> when he handsome. come back, shut up, fool. <laughs> <laughs> the true flame wrath. <laughs> the face was Need terrifying. Dog. Yes. Wow. Nidhogg, Soul Eater. Ooh. Oh That's yeah, he's got this. Go back to the one before that. His, his halberd is uh, Soul Edge from Soul Edge. Oh, it totally is. Yeah. It's got the eyeball. Oh, yeah. When you're running a circus, but also evil. 
Gather round, fine folk. Come one and all. Come and see the fabulous on Y6. <laughs> this is a threat. Yes. <laughs> 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 that one's awesome, dude. Just take care of business, man. I gotta mow the lawn and fix the show. Is it still Monster Energy Zero, or would it be White Claws at this point? A soul eating Oathbreaker Paladin has made a pack with Lock and High, having done many evil things. When he sees an old lady in need. Well, maybe I don't have to be the bad guy anymore. I, I still come from a warrior country. You devoured you know, a soul. You respect the old Fuck you, dad. I'm going to be a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> I am a clown. Why am I a clown? <laughs> you are part of the unwise six. God damn it. I had a full conversation today. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right to me. That sounds oh, right. That is. <laughs> he never said he took the flowers out. Oh my god. <laughs> it smells yeah. better in here. <laughs> you wait, you <laughs> shove flowers in your armor? Yeah, yeah. The old lady gave me some. Oh, he's such a good, kind soul. Not an evil bone in this body, pet, pet. I still <laughs> think that me and Ankor are just looking straight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Raybar, cool now. <laughs> oh, please show him. Some yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's go. He's way cooler now. <laughs> Dual wielding. <laughs> Character has a nicotine addiction. Kadem starts laughing. I'm in danger. <laughs> Dice. Nice. Oh, this, was, this is great, dude. Your guys' is back and forth is awesome. It's just like, but why? <laughs> 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 but but why why are we doing that it is the right thing to do the path of evil dictates it the way Sherfor said it too <laughs> wait did you say it or did I say it I said it about but why uh, I walked up and I said what's wrong and she's like said something about being scared I'm like but why oh, <laughs> oh yeah Nick, oh, sorry, I was scared, but why? What the fuck? What is that? I don't know. I don't know. Hand. Angkorn and Nidhogg visiting the tavern. Yeah. <laughs> they got the size right. I am the knight. <laughs> <laughs> this one's great, dude. <laughs> 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 fucking eating cigarettes. That's kind of cool, though. It is way cooler than smoking them. This one's for uh for you, sure for this right here. Welcome to the party. Please help me. He tricked me into serving. <laughs> That's, the... <laughs> That's Zach, the other servant of the Gambler Black. Mm -hmm. How did he get tricked? Indeed. <laughs> Have you heard the word of my lord Astroth? Boo! Get better material. Um. <laughs> checks his cards. It's good. It's good you didn't have us do it because he was going to be very racist. <laughs> very mean. What? <laughs> that would have been his whole act. He's an insult comic, dude. <laughs> <laughs> They're so oh. excited. Let's go. Put the purse back on. I don't need to wear it anymore, idiot. <laughs> it looks cute. Uh, Vim plays a perfect straight man. It's fantastic. What are you talking about? We look so <laughs> cute. Thanks. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Impersonating the White Council, impromptu circus at a push-up competition. <laughs> Ned Cog and Angord. Yep, 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 yep. Nodders, 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 nodders. Fuck God, God is good. No, yes. <laughs> oh my God, he's so cool. <laughs> He's way cooler. 
having a good time and friends and entertaining people? No, having a crazy moment consisting of communion with an evil swarm of spiders? Yes. <laughs> My job here is done. But you didn't do anything. <laughs> Bastard. And you got tired and slept. Maybe I should just do poetry. <laughs> All right. Uh, it would seem that now the uh, the horniness has come out. Look at you fucking guys, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> God damn. Yes, sir. War is mine. War is Angorn. You, you can't, can't take, take off your armor. armor. <laughs> God, it looks cool. <laughs> you remember this one, Shore for? New yes. party in Fireport? This is I fun. remember it vividly. Oh my god. That's the explosion going off. Can you juggle? I went to school, fool. <laughs> <laughs> I like how much fucking bigger I am than Angorn. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Rob and Devin. I Man, like it. For you. For you. I didn't even notice you. Angorn in like the bottom right. That's great. Fuck you, Grandma. We could be low profile, creates a circus, doesn't even make up fake identity. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, we didn't make up fake identity. We, we literally oh, became yeah. famous. Oh, God. Oh, shit. This person did a whole video. Oh, we actually did make up fake identities. <laughs> Wait, did we say our names? Yeah. Yeah, you did. Oh, Nobody God. made up fake identities, so it's like... We're stupid. That's a whole video for Wes. Oh my god. I was supposed to be the only stupid one. <laughs> These guys are making fucking circuses and, and we give out fucking invitations to <laughs> Good shit. <laughs> I made flyers. <laughs> oh it my blows god. my fucking mind. Why are you why are you mad? <laughs> You're mad. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for that. Oh my god. Sup. Sup. God. So fucking cool. He's so cool. Look at his shoulders. Look at why you have huge shoulders. Holy fuck. It's his coat. It's hanging off of his his shoulders. But it's also got a lot of starch in it. That's why it's <laughs> I shouldn't be enjoying this. I'm starched up. <laughs> yeah, all you had to do was pay his bounty. <laughs> We are idiots. Fuck you, dude. I was thinking about like killing the guard and setting it ablaze. Yeah, we're doing some Ocean's Eleven shit. He's like, that's oh, five goals. It's good. Yeah, I, I was getting ready to break down the fucking. The Un unbelievable. That one's art. from uh, our. That's one. That one's from our studio. Yak made that our studio manager. It's oh shit. Cool. Yeah. If you guys started fighting in that fucking prison, I was gonna flip out. <laughs> <laughs> we we almost died in a town fifty times smaller we than this. Would have died place. famous. Well, for, first of all, that was the capital of Dabarak. It's not a small city. We were literally just in the the dock portion of it. Uh, oh, it was. Yeah. It's a giant that, city. That was just a portion of the city. Yeah. Oh. We would have died with fame one. Yep. We would have died. Yeah, also attacking famous. the guard would have been really bad. <laughs> those guys seem. Is that why those guards were so badass? Is because it's like a major city? Yeah. Yeah. It was the capital, the center of power. We see. But yeah, thanks a lot for playing, guys. Gee, fuck. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, it's, it's fucking best thing of the week. Yeah. Ooh, Hell yeah. Awesome. Uh, we got. We missed Sorry, guys, last week. Sorry, this week was made up for it. It was good this week. I love the circus. Yeah. This, was, this was that good stuff, dude. Sorry I was a bit late today. Oh, you're good. It's okay. Circus. Unbelievable. Right. Well, you're, you're just mad, Vigor. <laughs> good time, I guys. Mad. I gotta go prep for my next bit of stuff I have to work on, but thank you guys so much for playing. You guys are awesome. GG's are Thanks good. Thanks for being here. Yep, I'll see you guys next time. Oh. See you. So, Goodbye. so okay, when, when's the mute thing? The mute uh, thing 10 is 30. We got three hours. ESD? Three hours. Okay. Yeah. Word. Well, I, I do have a question. Word up.
Um, what? So you guys keep fucking communing with your gods and whatever the fuck y'all do. I'm a goddamn uh -huh. changeling. Do I need to commune with my hag mother at any point? It, no. Damn, I don't know. You, don't, you could. have to. It's it, up to you if you want is to. Is that something yeah. I'm able to do? Like, you just can tell I, them and like, you, you have like a little solo correctly. RP session. You have to, yeah, just have to role play it correctly. Like, sure, like, what, Yeah, what you have to do is you have to like say what you want to do and then explain it in character and how it makes sense to do it. You can't just be like, I want to talk to the hag mothers. You got to be like, you like I want to attune with what I was once because I want to like kill the hag mother because I don't want to be a part of her anymore or some shit. Okay. Or you want to like just like go off yeah. to the, like Sherford did like he like went off in the night and yeah, went yeah. to a graveyard. Yeah. Well, I just, I just yeah. like, like you know Vigor's communing with spiders and Sherford's going into a graveyard. I'm like fuck am I supposed? Because I remember being told well, I have a. No, you don't have to. If you the, don't the only reason the only reason I'm doing it is because I'm playing my character in a way that he isn't meant to be played because I'm trying to have fun. I guess you know what I mean. I like see. my character isn't supposed to be like happy. <laughs> So, someone made rubber with my mutes. My, my, my character is literally my, my character is literally made to kill people, right? Like to to kill high elves, and he shouldn't be super happy. That's why I did that. To like I see. bring him back down. And I did it because you know graveyards. Graveyards have dead peoples, probably wandering souls. I used my wife's soul as a link to how that might even be possible. Hmm. Yeah, just look for opportunities. Like you'll, you know, you'll you'll will be somewhere, or be, you just find an opportunity. It's like to role play it. Oh, I right. fucked my hag mother. I was just wondering if I'm required to fuck that bitch. No, no uh, you're not. No, you're no. literally required yeah. to do nothing. But like, like Wisp doesn't have a god or anything. She just kind of like I, I'm kind of finding more trying to think of more ways to develop her. Um, but she doesn't have like anything like that either. She just kind of chills. Sometimes it'll take a long time until your character can develop in a way where you want to do things like my yeah i feel like it does yeah. my character it's especially harder when your character is more hard-lined and has more facets to them and isn't mm -hmm. kind of like raber where he's just like me smash me like me because then it's very easy to like put in what you're going to do and get your character's point across I see. like like my character bellanovan and galen's gate arcane wanted a serious campaign so i made more of a serious character and it took probably like eight months of playing until oh i could God. surely truly show his personality more because there's more often to work with half of all the experiences you have i that see makes sense i have to be very careful with what i do because i can't like i can't make my character too smarter it just ruins the illusion of it so i have to mm -hmm. constantly like but you also don't want to get his kill randomly yeah exactly so there's two different sides of a coin there's one where your character is very simple but then you can't do more <laughs> intricate things but then there's your character is more intricate, but it's harder to show his personality because of it. That's yeah. where I'm at. Yeah, that's interesting. Huh. But when your character is more intricate, you have more opportunities to like pick and choose what path you take based on how everything goes around in your environment. But it just takes a while of world building and getting those experiences no, to I, get to that. It's point. like GTA RP. I want to know yeah. um, how everyone feels about our recently acquired fame uh, in the circus. I think it's awesome. That, dude, the circus is such a good idea. Like even I, I, I know twi low, like low IQ Twitch has probably like hey, keeping the perfect. Uh, like holy fuck, I my character literally cannot look different. Like we have yeah. a fucking obese orc wandering around. We are in basically imagine the most puritanical, like like holy white pantheon good place or like like you know fucking they're all hypocrites right doesn't matter anyway they're, they're puritans that's the best way to put it so an orc literally will always be hated in this place first so if we're in a circus that's literally the best cover it's fucking awesome thank you man yeah i, I thought of it because i was like okay like we are such freaks we got this like freaky goth girl this dwarf like encased in armor we've got this like this dude with like a forked tongue that like looked that's like all like everything's everything's all we're all freaks so we might as well be like like an yeah. entertaining circus everybody believes that right normal you would yeah. think you would think that the tongue of truth would have provided us with some sort of cover, like considering what we are. So we did the best with what we had, I think. Yes, and we we we're we're actually legitimately a circus now because we're actually performing and making money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. So it's just a cover quotation marks, but we're really doing it. Fuck yeah! Well fucking done. I mean, you guys took it to the next level because I, I was just like, yeah, we're just going to use it on that guard. Then you guys just like started creating flyers and shit, made a business out of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the flyers I don't know. Good. 
My, my favorite part was when Wisp literally confessed that we <laughs> left a town and sham. We got kicked out of a fucking town that's on fire. <laughs> I didn't say the town. <laughs> like, uh, truthfully, we're not a circus. We actually got fucking kicked out of the fucking glass. No, she didn't town say we that. She just said she just said we were looking for an old member of our trope from a previous town that we uh, we got like run out of. Yeah. 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 We're such an evil campaign. We'll get to it. Circus. I mean, we, like Moon did read that chick her like love letter, and then Vigor like slit her throat. That was pretty that's, evil. And then that's I set the corpse on fire. Than anyone, any stream games. Yeah, done. that's pretty I mean, fucking evil. <laughs> Holy shit. I committed a prime evil this stream. So. Dude, yeah. yeah I, let me show you. Let me show you what this guy did for me. So a prime evil is literally like a super evil. He, any mortal should not do this kind of thing. And consuming oh. a souls, basically the whole thing with consuming a soul is I take its ability away from going back into the life stream, which means mm -hmm. it literally ceases to exist. Like they can't even go into the dream. They can't exist as a spirit or a ghost or an entity. They're literally gone forever. Someone sent me that move. <laughs> Uh, it's in the tearing veil chat. Yeah, the tearing veil. Oh, that's the girl oh, and her sword. Yep. yep. Yeah. Our sword now. <laughs> it truly <laughs> is. <laughs> Powerful. This is cool. Like, oh. I, I, I want to get to the part in the campaign where I'm at the places where I can do what I want my character to do. It's just not there at the moment, so I'm like, yeah, it takes. I'm some trying time. to play him correctly and. Playing him in a circus, I feel like, is not the correct way. <laughs> but we did we did a really good job. We practiced and everything for it. Yeah. So good job. Yeah, it's weird. hard to be, like, dark and evil all the time. Um, I mean, like, we're, I, mean, I think we're going to trend evil. Uh, like, Arcadum has said, it's difficult because, pe like, we don't, human beings are, like, generally good, right? So, like, well, you have to kind of, like, enter yeah. into a different. But, yeah, we've been I, doing some pretty evil shit. Just my plan evil. for it is, well, I was just, my plan for it is, I'm going to make Vim do things that make him happy and basically have him go through depression with the the spiders. De what? Depression with the spiders? I'm confused. When he's happy and he's enjoying himself, right? Uh-huh. That, that's not the reason he got the power from the creeping death. He got the... And then he'll slowly start okay. to realize that and go through depression. And, and that's how I'll be able to do things like off track of this thing. So it's like a okay, I see. I'm I'm not evil. I just don't give a shit, and I don't understand like the value of like good manners. So I, if something's like bothering us, and I smash it, I'm smashing it because it's annoying. Mm -hmm. So it's really just not even. I mean, I'm I'm like passively evil. You're just <laughs> you're just that stupid that you smash things that. Okay, you're just that dumb. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like smashing the goblins like an evil act, but he's just like a oh, fucking goblin, whatever. I'm hungry. All right. I mean, just eating cigarettes. People doesn't mean we've lost our humanity. Yeah. E evil people don't know they're evil, right? Most of the time. Or don't think they are. Mm, evil is a matter of perspective. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, I mean, I we guess it depends on the type of evil. Burn her corpse after while we're reading a love letter to them. That is just, I don't know if that's, that's just pure that's, evil. That's pure evil. Yeah, that's. Yeah, like, well, she like, tried to kill us. The way that Wisp, it, like Wisp, has lost everything, so I tried to make her neutral evil, which is like a, um, it means like you just have no reason to do anything good because you you just you're mad at the world, you've lost everything. So there, there like there is no moral compass anymore because shit just was yeah. so bad to you. Oh, shit, is that food? Yeah. I'm gonna go eat and prepare this Let's mute go. event for tonight. Oh, yeah. You guys have fun. That Ooh, sounds gamer. that sounds very interesting. Moon Moon, good luck on getting your oh, new favorite mute. I don't have to do shit. You don't have to do anything. Oh, oh wait, does it? Uh, pick his favorite. I have yeah. to. I'm setting up the event. Well, me doesn't he come. like judge him? Or yeah, he has to judge yeah, him. Well, Moon, there will be events where you have to tell them what to do. That like, was my cousin. Uh, it's like a quirk competition where you you can tell them to like act out a scene or like draw a picture. Who can oh. do the disc crip walk? Okay. We'll, we'll get into it. We'll get into it. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not worried. But yeah, Rob needs the luck and Crumpet needs the luck, not me. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll be watching. Far. Sounds interesting. Hey, hey, everyone. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go play Noida. Say hi, right, guys. Everyone. Yeah, GG's. See you next week. Farewell. Bye.